in time with me jar of jam i won't be able to keep up this voice for very long although we can try <clears throat> oh christ <laughs> first of all love the soundtrack any ideas which game the soundtrack is from you'll get some actually let's leave it in the background jeez it's quite nice let's leave it in the background Take your picks, take your picks, take your guesses as to where this, sound, this music is from. 
but it's first and second. Love it. Absolutely love it. Gonna gonna be playing it for. Excuse me yet again. Gonna be playing that on repeat for a long, long time. It's relaxing, but still sounds has some groove to it. So for that, I absolutely love it. Am I getting enough volume here? Hmm. Am I usually louder? Oh, interesting. <coughs> Just previously, quite on a couple of occasions, it was almost over overpowering my OBS, and and now it isn't doing that. Weird. Anyway, not here to talk about the my OBS issues, and I hope there are no OBS issues. Uh, can I hide this somehow? Why can't I really? Yes, yes, it's that robot puzzle game. Machinary, machinary, whatever you might call it. It's from there, I decided to just put it as a soundtrack today. God, I love it from the very first track. Again, quite chilly, quite relaxing, but I love it like that. I love a lot of the music like that. All right, first, first, for, it's very important to start up the Steam. Without Steam, I won't be able to play this goddamn game. I feel like I can almost make this, the music a bit louder. It's so ambient that you don't even notice it. Just basically, it just floats around, floats around. Sorry, you don't see my hands. Floats around. Is what I'm trying to say. Am I zoomed in? Wait a minute. What is this? Webcam? No. It, please hear it's placed correctly. Webcam? No. Am I zoomed in? No, nope, I'm not. Dink, dink. No. <laughs> Just did a little bit back and forth, back and forth. Chris! Hey! Man, sorry, I wish I could visit one of your streams, but you're always streaming after midnight for me. <laughs> I wanted to. Every time I, I get an email in the morning saying, Hey, Chris uh, went online at 3 a.m. And, and I'm like, oh, God, Christ. <laughs> but how's your progress? How have you been? How are your streams going? seen the names of them I don't recognize any of the words in in your street names with the exception of um, English welcome <laughs> or something like that <laughs> wait let's quietly 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 launch the game and yes it doesn't remember the settings from a previous one this stinks cover up your ears some mysterious music. <laughs> All right, mysterious music. Oh, Christ, oh, I might need to reset every single setting that I did. Hint level, the same. Subtitle level, okay. Goals pop up, okay. Music, voice effects, resolution. Very important. I'm not playing at this resolution, I'm playing this resolution. Graphics quality, anti aliasing. There we go, there we go, there we go. Apply. Oh, Christ. I decided to have a quick snack. <laughs> oh, you like the snacks. Well, I'm glad I could be of assistance. <laughs> no technical difficulties. Uh, just the game um, wants me to redo all the settings yet again. So it's, it's, it's not... From the game standpoint, it's not the same game. It's like another episode. So I need to do the all the settings back again. Oi! Oi, so... We're playing a puzzle. We're not exactly a puzzle. We're playing Back to the Future, the game. Ah, uh, yes, show the goals. And actually, let's start the very snazzy, snazzy, snazzy. Uh, I did not dropping any frames on my end. So I wonder. Anyone else experiencing the issues like that, like Iris describing? I really hope not. So, we'll get a little bit of, I'm um, assuming, uh, a little bit of a uh, previously on Back to the Future. I hope, at least. If not, I'll just quickly re retell you what we did yesterday. The webcam is choppy. I'm trying to, like... Webcam sometimes is just slightly choppy. But let's just say it's not... It's not the most important part. CPU, almost no use whatsoever. RAM, I'll check. 
nothing nothing seems nothing must be nothing is eating my ram I'm pretty sure we'll see again let me know if the volume is okay in the game basically so far nothing's happening but <laughs> all right Tyra maybe for you it is so what's happening I don't know so unless uh, tomorrow's newspaper. Do you still have it? All right, so yeah. that's Marty. That's Dr. Emmett Brown. Beaten. Left for dead. Local accountant Arthur McFly was severely beaten uh -oh. and left for dead. That's her father, Arthur McFly. Last night. No, uh, no grandfather, my, my bad. Tannen's goons, no doubt. Probably in retaliation for Arthur answering that surprise. All right. What are we going to do? Now, I wish you'd check sure around. <laughs> According to this, your grandfather was dumped on the doorsteps of the courthouse five minutes ago. My dad's picture is disappearing. That's a time stream catching up with your grandfather's fatal wounds. Which means your father will never be born. And neither will you. So we're having Unless... terrible problems. Actually, yeah, uh, no one reminded me, but I should move the, uh, the camera out of the way. When did you last see your grandfather? <laughs> Four o'clock in the town square. So yeah, no, currently no exposition from a previous episode. Right. We'll have to be careful not to run into ourselves. That shouldn't be a problem in your case. I mean, you were in jail. Let me right, let me sit outside of the, the range of the subtitles. Freeze! Ah. <laughs> Step out of the car with your hands up. So yeah, there will be a game portion of this. Don't worry. There we go. Evade the cop and get to the side. I'm assuming we need to go here. This cop is the most or the least. What was that? What was what? Crap! I heard something back there. I think you're mistaken, officer. <laughs> okay. What now? Well, looks like I caught me a fugitive. Carl Sagan, the speakeasy arsonist. Can we keep moving? Uh, I'm pretty sure I'll be noticed. Right, any items I can use. I have now the photo of my father, but it's disappearing. I have the Do Doc's notebook. Can I throw it at the policeman? If you don't mind. Ah, the keys. <laughs> the policeman still. The no, 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 no. The policeman. What kind of buggy is that? The policeman still Stay didn't on. notice everything that's the happening around him. Still uh, the key. No, I'm here. Oh, where did the key, the key drop? Take off okay, let's come back here. That so? There They're not again. on the ground. I think the night air is playing tricks on you, officer. Not a No, okay, are we still going around the car? Yes, what I think is it, we are. Some kind of foreign job, a German or something? Not at all. This is solid American workmanship. This is it actually is solid American workmanship. Although um, solid, maybe a little bit now I'm relative. Sure something's back there. <laughs> because I think they were quite prone to breaking down. But still, a collector's item and quite a beautiful car. All right, like something out of Buck have the Rogers. keys. Yeah, from now, everybody huh. will be driving these babies. All right, can we go around it yet again? <laughs> why is he? Why is he not arresting Doc? Just, just keeps pointing the gun at him. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a promotion in this. You're getting. To I'm be just a running around in circles. In Hill Valley. Well, that's very gratifying to hear. I hope you don't mind cooling off a few. What? I'm right in front of freaking him. I don't mind, but the car may have other items. Wait, wait, why am I even allowed to be here? Like, in f right next to him? I heard something back there. <laughs> Obviously, he's not looking at me. But he's really oblivi oblivious to what's happening. I must be in front of that bumper. Like, clearly seen. No, nothing. I'd like to get a closer look at that getaway car. See, see, he must see me. That This is the stupidest, stupidest policeman ever. He, I think it was told in the previous series that he was a newbie cop, but... But still. I'll be fine until you get back. Yeah, really, the the, the quickest, slowest getaway. <laughs> I had enough time to get away, but uh, I was just slow to hear what Doc was saying to me with a closed window. It's terrible. What it's absolutely that? terrible. <laughs> Alright, so here begins the story of Episode 2, Back to the Future, the game. The movie, the game. So yeah, from what we see, uh, learned yesterday, uh, this is after the events of all the three movies. 
Okay, so I went to the fast. Artie's gotta be in there somewhere, spilling his guts to the DA. Okay, there's my grandfather. There I can is. recognize him All by the hat. Do is get to him before... Mr. Callahan. Oh no, it's her again. It's her. I was wondering if I could do a little follow-up interview with you about the plight of poor Mr. Sagan. Don't have time. Don't have time. Brown will be setting him free tomorrow. I wouldn't bet on that. What's that? Nothing. Listen, can we talk later? I've really got to get to the There's Doc right again. Now. Really? Why? But we freed them. My grandpa's uh, being sued for uh, alimony by his niece. It's uh, it's complicated. Also, Marty's a terrible liar. Oh. Well then, terrible, terrible, terrible liar. And do put that vicious dog of yours on a leash, will you? We have laws about that sort of thing, you know. Sure, no problem. <laughs> and cool guy. Oh, there we go. There I am. It's me, but this is also me. Oh, and I'm hurting. Yesterday, Marty, stop talking. Get moving. Oh no! Oh no! That's a problem. Oh, that's a problem. That's a very smart dog, Einstein. Einstein will come to the street and will stick here for ages. Einstein, what is it, boy? Uh, sit. Sit, Einy, sit. Sit. All right. I said it was a smart dog. No, not really. Einstein. Okay, we might have a problem. <laughs> Time travel is really complicated. You a squirrel, Einy? <laughs> no, I don't look like a squirrel. Uh, get past the obstacles and into a car house to, to all right stick you want to play okay let's play why are you speaking the guy behind the tree the other Marty to, will hear it. not bonking myself on the head with a stick actually why not that's a cool idea want the stick boy want to chase it why are you speaking all right let's throw it into Edna or rather at her Heine. Is that how he gets the shoe? You. <laughs> See, and she she ignores the fact that there were two of me. Away from me. Oh, come on, Einstein, get away from the nice lady. Uh -huh, so this is what happens. We've we've seen this scene in the episode number one. Now we're basically really living it and putting the things in motion. Uh. Yes. Okay. Who is that, by the way? I don't think that looks like one of the previous goons of uh, what you might call it, Kid Tannen. Oh God! Um, hey. According to my calculations, the rotary engine for a full-scale rocket drill requires 1.21 kilowatts of power. Can you check over my work to make sure? Are you all right? Yeah. Yeah. But I need to get to Arthur. Yeah. Why? Yeah, yeah. Come on. A little strand of hair. Come on. Stop dropping. Uh. Dee -dee 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 Sure, just just yet again setting everything in motion in my end. Uh, da, 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 da. The timer thing was ticking. Timer is ticking, right? Timer, timer is ticking very well. There we go. Let's not waste any time then. <laughs> All right, so he needs help. He might be headed for an accident. Arthur McFly may not be the most coordinated fellow around, but I'm sure he can walk up a flight of stairs. Come on, shouldn't we be getting on with our work? We're on a strict deadline, right? Well, yes, but sure. But Arthur's on an there are a lot of problems. A lot of problems. <laughs> Why are you so suddenly concerned about Arthur? Uh, long story. <laughs> oh my God! What the hell is that? What's what? Hmm? Who are you talking to? I'm talking to you. <laughs> no, I, I mean before, while I was walking towards you, I wasn't talking to anyone. So he's blind. He's deaf. Drill. <laughs> no, I mean after. No, never mind. I'm, Let's get going. I'm introducing more okay. problems than I'm currently solving. I thought I'd That's never problematic. Leave. At least now I have a clear shot to the courthouse. That guy, which one of the two actually? The the kid or the the kid with big ears? Because I'm pretty sure that both of these characters are voiced by the original actors, right? Marty McFly is voiced by Christ, what's his name? Mm, don't remember. And the uh, the boy is voiced by the original voice actor Christopher Lloyd, the original Emmett Brown. All right. So, what do we have? All right, that guy. Ah, oh, sorry. Now we need to look there. Can we attract his attention somehow? Keys? I doubt it. Throw the keys at that guy. Nah. Nah. I can agree with him. 
complete another now. All right, don't use the item. Go somewhere. Courthouse doors. And my game just froze. <laughs> there we go. Just zoom and straight to the courthouse doors. Michael J. Fox. Yeah, thank you. I forgot his name. I forgot his name. You gotta come with me. Look, you're in a lot of danger. What do you mean I'm in danger? No time to explain, Gran. Artie. Just promise me you'll stay at the police station until... Artie McFly. Just the guy we're looking for. Hey, fellas. <laughs> Run! Get him! This guy's terrible. These guys are also terrible. And that's uh, cue ball. Oh, cue ball, come on, really? Ouch. I'm having enough problems as is. I don't need people knocking me Artie? over. On my head. See? This is what happens. I better pick up their trail before I start fading out again. Okay, well, I'm assuming there. <laughs> Ooh, what a what an action angle. Look at that. Unfortunately the controls are still quite terrible. Dude, I, <laughs> I move like a tank. I move like a tank. There we go. Oh, I'm hiding. Clear. <laughs> yes, oh, I'm my hiding. Goodbye. Let's go see the boss. <laughs> oh my. The game's silly. And that's even without getting into the whole business of the time travel, paradoxes. <laughs> Just silly. <laughs> oh, of course, Femme Fatale. Hi. How's my favorite accountant doing? <laughs> oh, I've been better. I'm so sorry to hear that, McFly. Trixie? Trixie, take a powder, doll. We got business to discuss. Take a powder, doll, hey, Shane. Uh, you boys play nice now. Mwah. Nice to see you again, Audie. You too, Miss Trotter. Yeah, yeah, we're all happy as clams. <laughs> I'm scram. <sighs> Everyone's looking at her. Even little Marty McFly. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. That's my grandfather, again. <laughs> Are you guys stupid? What are you thinking? Bringing this fish food to my doorstep. We just thought that was your first mistake. Thinking. <laughs> Look at me. Do you ever catch me thinking? Huh? <laughs> How do you answer that? Uh, don't answer that. <laughs> just drag exactly. him inside, find out what he told the DA, then get rid of him. I think we can handle that. Okay. Good. Problem. Now, if you don't mind, Problem. I've got an arsonist to snuff out. And will one of you slobs start hauling these crates in? We're on it, kid. All right, so what now? So far, so good. Huh. No, not good at all. On my grandfather, or rather, the picture of my father is almost erased. Apparently, it goes like that. Ah, uh, right, so. Going through the door, I'm pretty sure not a good idea. I'm, I'm assuming this ladder to this ladder, or get on this crate, do something, do something, Marty. Oh, hide goddess. in the crate, maybe. One winged goddess. Oop. Uh oh, oops, <laughs> oops, indeed. So throw it in the trash. Get inside. Get inside. Come on. Hmm. Nice fit. Here yep. goes Just nothing. Just me. Just for me. Close it for crying out loud. Prince cue ball. Stir the soup cue ball. Clean out the blood stains cue ball. Shit. I'm not a gangster. I'm a freaking butler. <laughs> oh, look at him. I the face he made. Goes in first. Oh. Jeez, for a gal with no arms, you sure is heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, cue ball. Pull those muscles. Whoops. Whoops. Ow. Do you mind? I'm trying to conduct a professional interrogation over here. Where should I put this? Just shove it behind the bar. I'll just shove you behind the bar. Fist fight, fist fight. No. <laughs> Come on, Artie. So what he, what he's doing? He's slapping you. you put on that rag oh, anyway? he's, he's still out. What? I see. Because I'm having a hard time bringing Sleeping Beauty here around. Uh, uh, Let me see. Okay, so. Hey, Artie, we got a few questions about you and the DA. DA, D, A, D, E, D. See what I'm working with here. <laughs> hey, this guy's all, all so sleepy. Say, 
Wake up! <laughs> oh, sorry, boss. The stupid cold's got me wiped out. <laughs> well, try to stay awake long enough to finish that poster, will ya? We got a club to open in a few days. And turn off that sign, would ya? El Kid. <laughs> Alright, so... Marty, what you gonna do? Wake up, sleepyhead. <laughs> Despise the goons and rescue Arthur. Okie dokie. Panic button. Squeak. Kids ice cream. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> what was that? There must be some wiring problems with the emergency button. Oh no. He'll be going the same way I am. Bad idea, bad idea. Alright, thankfully. Really? And once again, he doesn't see me. Still can't get like, like right here, right. right here. <laughs> These are the blindest goons ever. Every single one of them. <laughs> and then I can just pop my head up. All right, not the case. All right, bottle. Uh, Dermot's Canadian whiskey. Maybe I can hit him on the head with it. Actually, no chloroform. Let's grab chloroform. Yink. No wonder Artie's so out of it. <laughs> uh, ink bottle? I can't take that. Zane would know something's up. Can I replace it with something? Uh, like replace it with a bottle of chloroform. Apparently, yes. Okay, that's a start. He is really close to it. Uh, like, hey really guys. sniffing uh, it. Yeah. Zane! Wake up, you lazy bum! There Must have been the cold. Cold my eye. He's been dipping into the inventory. The inventory. <laughs> one more. Oh, down. Grandpa. Two to go. Okay. Indeed, one I more. Up. We put kids okay, so up over the bar. Well, let's try this one. Yeah. A class. Yeah. There's a code. There's a code right know, there. Says class Numbers. Like pick Seven, twenty-three, thirty. Hmm. Okay. A combination to a lock. Let's remember this. Seven, twenty-three, thirty. I suggest another panic button, or rather, I propose another panic button. Hey! You hear something? <laughs> Apparently not. Kids ice cream. <laughs> Alright, uh. Dear ma Matches, let's smack you on head with a bottle. Smack! Matches! <laughs> really? Is it that hard to notice that something is going on? <laughs> what what happened? You got knocked out. By who? <laughs> really, the, this makes no no sense. All right, so apparently this is not working. Twenty proof. Whoa. We can try it again. Now let's turn the sign. Okay, Ow. that's a problem. All right, but the electricity is, is broken now. What? So, I think we good. blew a fuse. Well, go up to the soup kitchen and get a new one. Why me? Okay. You'd rather uh, hang Cuba is leaving, so we guy, can huh? smack matches yet again. again. Yeah, I'll just get that fuse. <laughs> Who on earth sings after they've been laced, I guess, with chloroform? This guy's a weird guy. Up, sleepyhead. All right, uh, panic button yet again. <laughs> really? How hard is it to just go behind the counter and smack him in the head? Right, empty chloroform bottle, maybe? No? Huh? Oh, God. Oh, there we go. All right, so he did it himself. Another bottle. Can I have two bottles, actually? You're trying my patience, Artie. <laughs> Come okay. on, Artie. Can I have two bottles, actually? shouldn't hold two at once. It might cling together. Aha, uh -huh. I can't hold more than two. All right, panic button. Panic. Well, they're criminals. They're they're goons. Even their boss isn't that smart, really. All right, matches. I'm so sorry. We'll have to do this to you twice. Smack. Smack. Karuni. Bam! Right in the kiss. <laughs> Thank you, Grandpa. 
Okay, so I'm solid, and my father is returning, so I think we're saved. Uh, we saved our grandpa. Uh, well, roughly. Hey, we need to still you. get him out of here. Wait, do I know you? So that's For about 40 years. Is anyone Whoa. down there? Everything's spinning. Okay, come on, Artie. Let's get out of here before these jokes How can we can we run out of here? I'm pretty sure there's only one exit from here. Oh my god. Great. Sissy. This isn't funny, guys. Is he hitting on the pipe? He might be. But hey, somehow miraculously I got out of there. And there's Doc. Perfect timing. With wait, with who? He's not alone. Grandpa, we've got a pickup to make. Okay, so this happens, then... Wow, really? Go boom all at the same time? <laughs> Need a lift? I thought you never asked. Ah, what's he doing here? It's a long story. <laughs> and the policeman is just completely ignoring the situation. Son of a... And then I carried Artie to the DeLorean. He came back to get you. That's I mean. So we can go home now, right? Please. <laughs> we still have this loose end to tie up. Ah, Christ, oh, yes. Tie me up again. <laughs> He's coming around. Okay, where to? Please be careful. You won't be safe in Hill Valley as long as Kit Tannen remains at large. Don't worry, I'm going far away from Hill Valley and I'm never coming back. No! no. He's got to hook up with Grandma. Exactly. What's her name? Sylvia? Uh, it's Sylvia. Do you know a woman named Sylvia? No. Well, she knows you. We'll know you. It's vitally important that you two meet. <laughs> oh, I get it. You want me to be part of some undercover sting operation. No, man. You've been working too uh, long with criminals. Possibly. Yeah. No. Are you G-Man? Uh -huh. Something like that. Yes. Sure. Anything for Uncle <laughs> Sam. I'll stay nearby and wait for this. Oh, poor RD. But He'll freeze to that. I'll lay low. Good man. When can I expect to see you? That was a close call. Really? If these, okay? this is how You're these guys tie up loose ends, Besides, Arthur, we then the everything's doomed. August 25th. August 25th? That's the date Kit Tannen is finally put behind bars. Do we have to aid that? How is the picture of my dad? Still there. Good. Let's get out of here before we accidentally elect Hoover to a second term. Okay, let's not do that. But where are we going right now? What is the... What are we supposed to solve? We solve the the murder of Artie. That's not the first episode, I'm pretty sure. That will be a really short episode. Okay, so we'll go back in the present. Uh, year 81, I believe. Well, everything looks okay. Are you sure? See, they fly residents. So, want to come in? Maybe hang out a while? I want my dad to see for himself that you're still around. I'd love to, Marty, but... You've got to go. I understand, Doc. You've got a life to lead, kids to raise, Not and even that. a hello. No, I've got to go to the bank and stop that estate sale you told me about. Smart thinking, smart thinking. Oh, oh. You go find your pop. I'll be back within the hour. All right. See you soon, Doc. <laughs> really work. All right. Huh? I don't like that. <laughs> Resume your life as a normal 80s teenager. <laughs> okay. Milk crate. Dad what? must have used that to haul away all those books from Doc's estate sale. Okay, garage door. Wonder if Biff finished the wax job on my 4x4. Okay. Nothing of interest. Walk, 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 walk. Walk around. Side door. I better use the front door, just in case. What exactly is that case? Well, okay, never mind. This is bug zapper. Where did we get a bug zapper? <sighs> oh no, oh no. Something has, has changed. Problem. No one's at hey, home. Hey, anyone home? There's something wrong with my key. Please, not now. Tomorrow. Give me another day. Wait, who is that? I'm locked out. What's going on, Dad? Did you change the locks or something? Marty. No, that's impossible. Marty was run out of town. Oh no. Got a bad he feeling is about this. there's the wrong timeline. Run out of town. Run out of town? What are you talking about, Dad? Let me in. This is a trick. Go away. Leave us alone. Haven't we suffered enough? 
Mom. Mom? Get Jennifer? Get Jennifer on the phone. She'll recognize my voice. Jennifer? Jennifer who? Problem? Jennifer Parker, Problem. my girlfriend. Problem. I don't know who you're talking about. Yep. Something How is can I convince definitely you? Tell broken. Me something. Only Marty would <laughs> Genius. What was that? Ah. Uh, how? I'm assuming none of these answers will work. <laughs> the first time he kissed mom, it was at the enchantment under the sea dance. That's right. Oh my lord, what are you waiting for, George? Let him in. <gasps> and my parents are black. <laughs> Marty. Oh my the god, dad. What now? What, what happened to you? What do you think happened, butthead? Is every uh sorry, I, I thought everyone was in the I thought we told you to stay out of town, shrimp. Shrimp? Yeah, whatever's going on, I'm sure we can handle uh -oh. it. Oh. <laughs> Reasonably. <laughs> Who are they? Eh, like you don't know Cliff and Riff. What do you think we should do with them, baby bro? Baby bro? What we should have done years ago, big bro. What a bro. mustache, what a mustache. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy this, McFly. Okay, so... Wait, wait. I'm trying to process here. Uh, How comes Biff's not what a What happened to you? <laughs> when I left here, you were kind of afraid, my dad. Afraid? <laughs> okay. No tannin ain't never Bad been afraid choice of, of words. no McFly. Uh, duck. Ooh. Biff! Uh, where are the cops? Better leave before my dad calls the cops. The cops? We own the cops! That's a problem. Tannen Gang's the fifth most dangerous crime family in California. <laughs> we got connections all over the place. I love that he has a stat line no in this. Hey, you we are the fifth me? biggest. Ben, no! Is it the water pistol? Please tell me it's a water pistol. Bang! <laughs> <laughs> all right. Check it out. To your family from mine, in gratitude for your continued service, J.J. Valenti. Who's J.J. Valenti? Don Valenti. Godfather of the Sacramento mob. Right, that the question's third answered. Most dangerous crime family in California. <laughs> All right, uh, Dodge. Ooh. Oh, that's a problem. I got a question. <laughs> uh, <laughs> cultures. Oh, can we bury the hatchet already? Even better idea. I bury this nine eye up your backside. Uh oh. Uh, jump. <laughs> hey. There we go. And another thing. Uh, uh, what did I do to you? Why are you guys so pissed at me? <laughs> you don't remember? You've really lost it, McFly. Think back. The thing with the manure truck. Which huh? one? <laughs> uh, dodge to that side. <laughs> nope. <laughs> On the crate again. Tell me. What? Uh, what about, what, what about, about my mom? mom? I mean, how did she end up with my dad? Beats us. Guess she has a thing for losers. She could have had any one of us, but she went for old Gimpy McFly. <laughs> any one of you? Really? So, a, a fat bloke? Uh, jump. Ah! Oh! Here's what I still don't understand. <laughs> How long has this been going on? My dad like this? this whole scene, Ever like, for five, ten minutes, solid. Dance, when Georgie laid Biff out in the parking lot. Uh, uh, shut up, it's not funny. Someone messes with the Tannen family, the Tannen family never lets him forget right, about it. It's strange. All right, uh, jump. No, all right, not. Here's what I still don't understand. Okay, so I'm assuming I need to, I need to solve this like. You pick on somebody else. Properly. We do. We pick on lots of guys. It's kind of our thing. Okay, dodge to the right. Stand on the crate. Okay, but. Uh, when did Biff get brothers? Where did these other Tannens come from? From a mommy tannin and a daddy tannin. <laughs> I shouldn't have asked. It's I really shouldn't have asked. Birds and the bugs, but no, it's the birds and the bees. Moron. <clears throat> Duck. Duck? Oh, there we go. <laughs> birds of a feather. <laughs> oh, Lord. Piece of cake. I never should have let that floozy talk me out of rubbing out your grandfather. Rubbing out my grandfather? Huh? I beg your pardon? Do what to what? <laughs> it's Kit Tannen. Kid? No. 
one in Hill Valley messes with the tenant. Please tell me it's also a. Or how long will he aim, really? Marty, get in. This timeline's been compromised. Yes, I've noticed, no, Doc. Jesus. <laughs> Thanks for taking ages. Wait, does it really do that? Somehow, something we did in 1939. Oh, yeah, I guess it, it does. <laughs> problems, problems, and more problems. Jeez, they the, arcade. the arcade, really, the, the fifth the day, biggest crime family in California, and they are robbing the arcades. Otherwise, you could be forever stuck in a town owned by the tenants. I don't get option, it. Doc. Punch it. All right, so back to the past. Zoom. <laughs> really, 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 tire tracks in the sky. <laughs> there are a lot of inconsistencies in this game, but. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> anyway, bah, well, we've been up here and, and there, back and forth, and we're back into this one again. In okay, town, Dad, on a car that won't be produced for what? 30 years? 40 years? To be betrayed by his mole, the singer named Pixie Trotter. That hot babe I saw coming out of the speakeasy. Exactly. When she does, history says Tanner will be arrested by a rookie cop by the name of Danny Parker. Okay. Parker, Parker, hey, do you think he's related to Jennifer Parker? <laughs> really, is that what you're thinking right now? You have Heavy. more and problems to solve, please. And Delvi, salutations. Condemning your family to generations of abuse at the hands of a terrible crime family. You need to go really? back into Tannen's speakeasy, find out what's gone wrong, and get Kid Tannen arrested. Okay. No problem, Doc. Let me just put on my hat and I'm good to go. And am I? Is the mustache really necessary? <laughs> no. It's a you can't let kid know that you're the same troublemaker that foiled his attempt to kill me. Are you sure you can't come in with me? It's far too dangerous. You may be easy to disguise with your nondescript features, but ever since my daring escape from the police, I'm really the close mob, to Charlie my Chaplin. My face has been plastered over every paper from Just need here a mustache right here. I'll find a safe place to hunker down. That flop house ought to fit the bill. You can find me there if you need me. And where will you leave the freaking car? Most noticeable car in the town. <laughs> Alright, get into the speakeasy. Uh, should be easy. Just... Really? There's a st I know there's a street in this direction. Come on, what will Charlie Chaplin look like? Ah, uh, never mind. What's this though? Control console. Huh, looks like Emmett's been busy. Uh, can I touch it? Huh, looks like Emmett... Nope, uh, apparently I can't. <laughs> I can't grab it either. Pardon me, sir. Oh. From the way you're dressed and your general aura of seediness. <laughs> general I aura of seediness. You're heading for Tannen's speakeasy. Am I right? I uh, yeah, ba da da ba. Yes. Uh, yeah. Can't you tell me the way? <laughs> down. Straight down. The last stop before the inferno. Repent. Repent. Unfortunately, I don't have the power to stop you, but I beg you to tarry here a few more seconds oh, and listen to my song. <laughs> really? Me, 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 me. Really? A song? On a little harmonium? No, harmonium is not, not it. The <laughs> what now? <laughs> Einstein? <laughs> oh, sorry, Miss Strickland. Just a little experimental <laughs> prototype gone momentarily awry. Mr. Brown, why is there a dog in that vehicle? Why? Well, well to advance the human condition, of course. <laughs> Hello, Harry. Harry? Mr. Callahan, what are you doing in that getup? Really? It's so easy to notice me? <laughs> so two people. Well, right, all right, she didn't notice it. But Professor immediately discovered me, and she immediately understood what the thing is. All right, I'm going undercover. I'm going undercover. How exciting! You'll have to give me an exclusive sometime. Right now, I've got some souls. To and please save. don't sing anymore. You will have to get an eyeful of my newest experiment. Which is? You're not angry about the rocket drill? Water over the bridge. I've moved on to bigger and better things. Well, Come on, right Zebo, when you get a chance, I'll be setting up. You won't believe what Annie and I have been up to. Time travel? Famous last word. <laughs> All right. Now, where's that speakeasy? Oh, okay, the speakeasy, I'm pretty sure, is... Dee -dee 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 -dee, somewhere there. Wait a minute. 
Wait, if they know who I am. Wait a minute, speaking to us right here. Uh, wait, wait, not here. Not the flop house. Wait, back, back, back. Right past it. It was right. Careful, 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 careful. It was like right here. Like here. In between. See, it's I'm standing next to barbershop, and then the next second I'm I'm not here, but I'm here. And Speakeasy was right in the middle. It's destroyed now, so where on earth can it be? Back in the soup store? I'm assuming back in the stove store. S stoop store? No. <laughs> I'm not making any sense anymore. Ah, right, behind here, behind here. I see, yeah. And game has frozen on me. Who sent you? Ulysses S. Grant. What did you bring me? Meat and potatoes. What's the word? Words are for wimps. <laughs> Bird's the word. All right. Um, <laughs> will I be able to enter? Trash cans. Is there any freaking reason why I should bother with the trash cans? Could the password be different? Told you about this place. Place to call to my travel agent. Uh -huh. What's the big idea? <laughs> uh, stitching time saves nine. Oh, Christ, I need to remember all of this. Settle down, mister. Why don't you wait outside and take a nap? Napkin, please. I've made a mess. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. All right, so how many passwords will be there? What do you think? Crates, crates. What Cabbage about the cr crates. Must be for the soup. Yep, soup. I bet. All right, let's try one yeah. more time. No, that's it. No one will come again. Door, more crates. I'm pretty sure he'll ask me different questions. Come on, the third, third, third person, please. Ew. Anyone? No. The ladder. The ladder must mean something. Come on, the ladder must be for something. Many uh, questions. Who gave you the right to knock? Oh on my, my door? God. Uh, uh, Euronymous Bo. Euronymous Bosch. Take a hike, squirt. Okay, problem. Okay, let's wait for another guy to come in. No solicitors. No solicitors. Ah, terse and to the point. Who's your commanding officer? I need to remember all of commanding this. Commanding officer, uh, sir. Sir Galahad, really? Is he as tall as he appears on screen? So, on ma screen. so much code. Uh, screens can be deceiving. He's guessing. <laughs> <laughs> he's, just, he's just answering with the rubbish and nonsense. And it works. It actually works. Who gave you the right to knock on my door? Hey, come on. Uh, not scared on the boat, the old gray mare. The old gray mare? Oh, come on. Is that a trick question? Not Bruce Springsteen, I'm pretty sure of that. <laughs> what will you do if I let you inside? More of these? Inside. Side with the enemy. What will you do tomorrow? Tomorrow. Run ah, so it's street. like a hint. All right, it's a hint. Uh, the thing always, as the answer always starts with the end. Who gave you the, the right, right to, knock to knock on, on my, my door? door? Joe Pis... Door. Door. Not Joe... Joe Piscopo? Ah, right. I haven't learned it. Fudge. I haven't learned Who it. Who sent you? Ulysses this is as Grant. Grant. What did you, did you bring, bring me? me? Meat, Meat and, and potatoes. potatoes. What's the word? Words are for All right, wins. so if I can get through... But why? Why does he ask me different ones? Because I look like Charlie Chaplin? Is that it? Uber 28. A chicken in every pot. How's that working out, Herbie? So if he's asking me the different ones, how on earth can I get through? Uh, trash cans, crates. Can go up there, can go through the pickup and delivery. Through the front door, maybe? You just guessed? Oh my god. Well, yeah, maybe. All right, one, one more time. Who gave you the right? To knock on my door. Not Bruce Springsteen. Ah, oh, Christ, there are more of these. Uh, right, a knock on my door. Door. Dar is day. Door is day. What will you do if I let you inside? Inside, side, sidle up to your boss. 
sidle up to your boss? Where you born? Where you born, 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 Borneo. Borneo. Welcome to L Kids, sir. <laughs> there we go. I didn't know there were more of these. That was my problem. I didn't know I could scroll. Okay. All the people I've previously knocked, knocked out. <laughs> and all these armless ladies with seashells for their bras. Hello, sir. Uh, matches, is it? <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to once again present the hottest little number this side of the Rockies. And when I say my pleasure, I think you all know what I'm talking about. Am I You're right? sleeping with her, are you? So <laughs> this guy's so happy. Hell, kid, welcome for the one, the only... Trixie Trotter. They say I'm crazy, got no sense, but I don't care. They may or may not mean offense, but I don't care. Out of my way, kid. I got some sorrows to drink. Really? A policeman in the speakeasy? Find out why Trixie won't betray Kid. <laughs> Alright, uh, Officer Parker. Hey, I know you. You're Parker. Oscar Danny Danny Parker. Phil <laughs> Valley PD. Uh, have we met? <laughs> you look familiar. Familiar? Nah. Well, stranger, sit down and have a drink on me. Alright, yes, he is messed up because he's seen a crazy thing happen. So you got troubles? Here you've been having troubles. <laughs> troubles? Buddy? Nobody knows the troubles I've seen. Nobody knows talk about the him? troubles I've seen. Do, do I? No, that's not a do melody. I? <laughs> yeah, I do. Listen, it all started when You're already car. drunk. You've just come in. Every evening, ain't we got fun? Not much money, oh, but honey, ain't we got fun? Whoopee! <laughs> come yeah. on, control now, yourself, please. Uh, I don't want to wallow in misery. I came here to get happy. Hallelujah! In the winter, uh, in the summer, stop drinking. Would you be drinking so much on duty? <laughs> probably not, but this joint ain't open when I'm off duty. That's problematic. Get Tannen. Shouldn't you be arresting Tannen? For what? Actually, yeah, for what? For speakeasy, for one thing. Well, I like this speakeasy. <laughs> so there. <It's> <sighs> if I arrested him, I'd have to arrest you and oh, me. Oh, there's and a problem, yeah. Else in here. <laughs> And that's just way too much work for one little cop like me. Oh, Daddy, you need to be a hero, so really. Got those troubles. Troubles? Ha! <laughs> I don't want to talk about all that. Difficulty. All right, party, party, party. All right, so he is. Later, Danny. So I'll far, be here. I'm supposed to get this guy to arrest Kid Tannen tonight. How? Actually, how? Why does Parker refuse to do his duty? Is the goal. <laughs> all right, let's play. You in? Uh, Why not? Mm, I don't have any money. Wait, I don't have any money, really. All right, let's bet on black. Something tells me black's gonna hit. But exactly, what exactly am I betting? I don't have any money. Twenty-three. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> is is this game uh useful for the quest? Caricatures. But this one's empty. This is true. Didn't burrow deep enough. Uh, Checkerboard Charlie, removed from the board. I guess someone jumped him. Oh, okay, whatever this fellow. Hmm, looks like someone's about to be added to Tannen's Wall of Fame. And I'm assuming these are all people who were killed? Or. Hmm. Okay, I always hey, lose. Okay. Back on, kid. I'm trying to entertain some people here. Well, do you know a song? Whisper in my ear. Uh, secret song. <laughs> okay. Secret. No. <laughs> So no one can hear. Excuse me. All right, so nothing. No. I'm assuming we need to pick a song that is. Uh... Hey, 
that will to me? do something yeah, to the police. Jerk. I saw you making eyes at my unit. Oh, lay off, Ernie. He's kind of cute. Ha! Huh, up yours, buddy. <laughs> Think you can just waltz in here and make a play for another fella's girl? Yeah, especially if you talk like that, she. Yes. Maybe. What you're gonna Maybe do you about it, do chicken? About it. Chicken. That's it. You're toast. No, and you're a chicken. So together we're chicken toast. <laughs> also, Looks like you need to cool off for a few. Who me or the guy who just? Yeah, there we go, that guy. <laughs> All right, got ourselves, lady. <laughs> so handsome. <laughs> Look at that face, just like. Ooh. Can I grab the microphone? I sing a song myself. Something from the classics. Way down in Louisiana, down in New Orleans. <laughs> eh, man, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> maybe hey, not. <laughs> I do the singing around here. Well, excuse me, miss. All right, Trixie. Uh, we can actually talk to Trixie. Excuse me. Are you Trixie Trotter? That's what it says on my dressing room door. Uh, At least it would if I had a dressing room. Oh, it's a sad, sad story. Hey, your song seemed to have a big effect on Officer Parker over there. If you know what I, I mean. I am humbled and gratified that my musical gifts have fallen upon such receptive ears. What? What is that accent, really? I don't care. What are those? Are they lyrics for one of your songs? I haven't memorized them yet. Uh, should I try... Right out there. Oh, no, Thanks. sorry. Not, She's not... supposed to turn on Kid Tana tonight. Okay, Doc, <laughs> if you say so. All right, so do we need to constantly choose the I don't care song and... Uh, sorry, lady. I didn't mean to get your boyfriend kicked make out of the club. Make her screw up. Water under the bridge. You want to keep his seat warm? Uh, thanks anyway. <laughs> really? Come on. Well, yeah, obviously. I don't care. It's the lyrics to her song. Gotcha. All right. Uh, Trixie? Yeah? Uh, what are you doing? Still working on those I don't care lyrics? What can I say? Memorizing ain't my strong suit. Nice voice. I really like your voice. Thanks. You should hear me when I ain't so under the weather. You're sick? Oh, yeah. Sore throat. That's why I'm giving cue ball so many <laughs> extended solos tonight. Haven't heard a single one. Or he's I playing right now, obviously, but <laughs> do you take requests? You know, Sister Christian, I don't do religious tunes. Uh, what a nice girl like you? What's a nice guy like you doing with a guy like Tannen? Oh, kid ain't so bad. He just takes some. Hey, Toots, any chance Toots. you could sing that can can number? The guys really love the way it shows off your uh, assets. <sighs> Whatever you say, kid. <laughs> and quit lazing around. I ain't paying you to yak with the drunks. I'm sober. Oh, more clips. Paying me at all, you bum. There we go. There we go. What Hate him. are we talking about again? Uh, your assets. You were telling me what a great guy kid is. <laughs> yeah, I guess he is a pretty crummy boyfriend. But until my insurance policy checks out, I guess I'm stuck with him. Insurance? Yeah. Look, I may not be the brightest bulb in the marquee, but even I know. You don't break up with a creep-like kid without something to keep him from going all crazy Maybe on you. Maybe police. Insurance policy? What's this insurance policy all about? Are you kidding? There's only one person I trust with my secrets. But I ain't seen him in weeks. Arthur? You don't mean... Artie McFly. Yep, Arthur McFly. McFly. You know him? Not as well as I thought. <laughs> Before he took a powder, Artie was tutoring me in all he sorts took a of powder. stuff. Etiquette, philosophy, accountant. <laughs> He's a regular <laughs> Renee Sauce man. Renee Renee Sauce man. Pipe, see? <laughs> smart <laughs> professor <laughs> pipe. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I've been secretly working on my get out of kid card for weeks now, but Artie's the only one I trust to check my work. You can't be too careful when you're dealing with a maniac like kid, you know. I want to get a, my, myself a smart guy pipe. <laughs> I can find Arden for you. At least I'll try. Artie, could you use find. that insurance of yours? Use it? Heck, if what I'm sitting on pans out, I could send that bozo all the way to the big house. I'll see what I can do. All right, we'll see what I can do. Uh, hey, what you about? can trust me. Come on, what's the dirt you got on kid? Nix on that. I ain't spilling nothing till I talk with Arthur Mc... <gasps> F-L-Y. <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Uh, do you take requests? Well, stairway to heaven. <laughs> yes, stairway I sing to heaven. Songs, kiddo. You want hymns? Go to a church. 
Uh, any, any more requests? You know what you'd sing great? This one song by... Pick it up with the piano player. He does the set list. But you do the lyrics. Come on. Break a leg out there. Thanks. Alright, so we need to find... Get Thrixie and Archer together. Where is Arthur right now? Alright, this lady seems lonely, but we're not in a romantic mood today. And I guess for a reason. Um, I don't think... Uh, cue ball? Hey. Back off, kid. I'm trying to enter yeah, I heard you. Can we exit and enter this place as we wish? Actually, Officer Parker. Danny. Sir. You. Me. Uh, tell me your troubles. So about those troubles. No. I, I'm not really in the mood to talk about them right now. Uh, yes, yes, yes. You freaking drunk. See you later, Danny. I'll be here. All right, Sylvia. Sylvia, 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 Sylvia. That's not Sylvia. That's a doubt. Is Sylvia? If we actually get to her. Nope. That lady just <laughs> watching me walk back and forth, back and forth. All right, uh, Kit Tannen, sir. Hey. Nice suit. Where'd you get it? Costume shop at the mall. Uh, I, I had it custom made. Yeah? Quality material. Actually, where did we get it? Who are you? Where are you from? Name's, uh, Harry Callahan. Ah, uh, I'm a stranger here. Nobody. I mean, you don't know me. I, I come from a, a very different place. Come on. What's the dough? Spill it or I'll go easy, kid. From the cut of the suit, I'm thinking he might be with the Valenti gang. Is that so? Uh, yeah. Uh, uh yes? Prove it. I've got a pistol. Don't leave until you show me some bona fides. Uh, my bona fide is my little gun. There you go, sir. I've got a little something here that might convince you. Don't even blink. It's a lighter. It's not a real gun. It's not a real gun, I swear. It's a gift from Don Valenti. See? To your family from mine, in gratitude for your continued service, J.J. Valenti. Indeed. Looks like little Harry Callahan here really is with the Sacramento There boys. we go. Fantastic. You got stones, Pee-wee. I like that. Have yourself a drink. On the house. Matches. Put down your gun. You look like a moron. <laughs> All right, uh, let's go up there. Actually, can we just go up there? There we go. We just can, can go up there. Yep. Oh, Christ. <laughs> Did you see that? He just closed hey, himself Artie. through the door. He's back. Yep. Back. All right, Artie is back. Let's rush. Actually, let's take a break, break right around here. Make a save, as usual. Uh, save game and an empty slot. There we go. And a short break just for everyone to stretch their legs. And I'll see you in a short while after this very short break.
down south well not really south I'm north than most of you guys especially cool guys since he's in South Africa I'm eating cookies <laughs> sorry the contrast between the deep voice and my my funny voice is quite quite noticeable yes cookies cookies is what I'm eating <laughs> sorry I've got a cold I don't know who you are, but what I have is a particular set of skills. Skills to make your life as miserable as possible again. Uh, uh, <coughs> one man needs only one thing. A lozenge. <laughs> Alright, I'll stop. I'll stop. Anyway, <laughs> uh, okay, let's get back to this one. <laughs> let's find Artie. Okay, that's Professor, or Doc. Is he, is he Professor Emmett Doc Brown, or what's his full title? Okay, let's, where is Artie, by the way? Not certainly a not a barbershop, it's closed. No time for a haircut. Besides, they'd probably... No, okay, flip flop house door, yeah, so he's here. There we go. You mean this voice? I've been practicing. In the mirror, every day. The deeper I go, hey, the Doc, more I know I'm doing it right. It's a little cleaner than I would have imagined <laughs> that before face? the fashion era flop house. How are your okay, I'll going? stop. I saw... Parker's pickled. You sure Tannen's supposed to be arrested by Officer Parker? The guy's a mess. Mess or no mess, I'm absolutely certain that Parker's your man. In fact, it's his arrest of Tannen that will eventually lead him to become Hill Valley's chief of police. That seems really unlikely. Uh, trust me. All right. Uh, uh, I saw Arthur. I saw him. And I'm well, not following him. My grandpa on his streetcar for just a second. Doc, we gotta find him. Why? Trixie thinks she's got something that could put Kid away, but Artie's the only one who can tell her for sure. I guess he's kind of her tutor or something. Ah, so that's the connection. When your grandfather mm -hmm. disappeared from Hill Valley for two months, the bond between him and Miss Trotter was severed, eventually leading to a timeline in which Trixie lost her nerve to betray Tan. Yeah? We've got to find your grandfather. Okay. Have you Inside seen Arthur? Artie? Have you been doing Haven't anything in here? Yet. Oh, Christ. You've been looking out to the window for the whole thing. Where'd you park the DeLorean? I hid it in a DeSoto lot. Nobody's buying cars these days, so it should be safe in there. Okay, about the speakeasy hey, arsonist. did burn down Tannen's original speakeasy anyway? 
I still don't know. I'd really like to find out before we go home. Mm, why 1931? I never did get a straight answer about why he came back to 1931 in the first place. It's a uh, personal. When this is over, Edna, is all this Edna? It. I'm gonna hold you to that, you know. Don't tell me it's Edna. Can you explain all this? I'm confused. <laughs> it's very simple. In the original timeline, oh, timeline A, the speakeasy arsonist was never caught, creating one of Hill right, Valley's let's eat a cookie. historical mysteries. Mm -hmm. Okay. When mm -hmm. I travel back to 1931, I created timeline B, in which I was misidentified as the arsonist and subsequently killed by Kid Tannen's goons. Einstein came with me, and somehow he ended up in the DeLorean when its failsafe mechanism triggered sending it back to 1986. Which is where I came in. Mm -hmm. Precisely. You traveled back to June 14th, 1931, creating Timeline C, a world in which Carl Sagan wasn't rubbed out by Kid Tannen. But Arthur McFly was served for the subpoena. And shot by Kid Tannen's goons. Yes. So you jumped back in time six hours, creating Timeline D, saving your grandfather's life, but somehow preventing Kid Tannen from meeting his date with justice. Which is why the Tannens were so powerful when we jumped back to 86. Uh-huh. So now we've returned to August of 1931, five, creating Timeline E, timeline. in which, fingers crossed, we'll send Tan to prison where he belongs. Got it? Sure. Kids, Good. don't One mess question. with timelines. What? Can you explain all this? I'm confused. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> don't don't tell us all again. Jerks, anyway. Uh, it's hard to say. Rogue Neanderthal genes in their DNA, perhaps. Yes, it runs in their genes. Okay. I better get back to fixing history. Be careful, Marty. No, okie dokies. So five timelines. Okay, where am I the Serbi? The theater? Could be in there? Or theater, rather. Theater is a rhyme for... It's way too dark and crowded for me to tell. Okay, do I need to start a panic? I'm assuming I need to start a panic. With what? Artie's pipe? A lighter? Use the item on the theater. I don't think so. Come on, let's try to burn the whole thing down. Maybe not. Okay, maybe not. Maybe a pipe. On myself? I don't think it would go there. Could As in Arthur theater? In there? Theater? No. All right, all right. It's too dark to tell. Any other items we have? Uh, still have this empty chloroform. Chlor oh, chloroform. What I'm trying to say is bottle, but. Uh, wait, wait, am I stuck here? No, I'm not. Okay, any other things we can do? Courthouse. Is he at the courthouse? It's closed for the night. Well, not surprisingly so. Maybe I should ask Irma. Ir Irma? What's your name again? Harry! Oh, also, this guy. Time. Right. Oh, I forgot. How have you been, Emmett? I know I haven't seen you in a couple of months. I'm great, and I owe it all to you. Really? Yes, that argument I had with my father during our jet drill experiment gave me the incentive to finally quit that dreary court job. I've committed myself full time to a life of science. Oh, good for you, man. So, uh, thanks for watching Einstein while I've been uh, away. It's been a pleasure. He's proven to be a surprisingly willing test subject, almost as if he's been working with me for years, uh... or like decades. What are you What's doing? What's the story with the little car and all this equipment? Einstein and I are conducting a few experiments with this one quarter scale model to work out a few hitches in my planned demonstration at the Hill Valley what, what Expo is in a couple of months. A radio controlled car? No. Well, yes, but there'll be so much more than that. It will amaze the world. Okay. Aha! Got it! Got what? I'll show you. Okay, please do. Ready to go, Einstein? Oof. Nope. Not even a woof. It looks nice. Watch this. Oh, this baby hits 23 <laughs> miles per hour. <laughs> see some serious cow flop. <laughs> really, a cow flop. It hovers. Really, this car. Einstein. Oh, get him out of there! Not to worry. I've got a fail-safe eject mechanism around here someplace. Oh, you've engineered this thing. Come on. See? Nothing to worry about. Nothing. Where is the dog? And what will it crash through? <laughs> Poor Einstein. <laughs> oh, he's alive. I'll go see if I can find something to help. Or someone. Okay. Uh, terrible experiment. 
Edna. Erma. Edna. Can we talk again? Have you seen Arthur? Hey, Edna. Mr. Crockett, what can I do Crockett? for you? Crockett? Pretty sure my name's uh, Harry Callahan. What are you doing? What are you doing out here in the middle of the night? Saving people from alcohol, vice, and disorder. And also keeping a lookout for hot stories. You'd be surprised how much news breaks on this corner. Uh, broken any broken stories? Any stories tonight? <laughs> Only the usual. Mayor Thomas trying to slink out of the speakeasy. Frankie Needles crashing his car into a fire hydrant. Nothing that'll get me the front page. Well, I got a story for you. I got a hot lead for you. Oh, what is it? Uh, um, would be inventor strands dog on courthouse. <laughs> Young scientist strands dog on courthouse roof. What? Look over there. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> Mr. Brown. Please, Miss Strickland, not now. Can't you see I've got a rather delicate situation on my hands at the moment? My trial run... Trial run? Public hazard, I call it. And I'm sure my editor will agree. And really, I ask you... All right. <laughs> okay, now they're arguing. That doesn't help us. Come on, boy. Fire escapes this way. Looks like I'm gonna need more help. From who? Well then, if you refuse to give me a statement, I just won't tell your side of the story. Oh, damned exasperating woman. Okay, Einie, the bad lady's gone. Come on down. Okay, so you are no help? Like, even together we can get the Einstein down? Don't worry, Emmett. I'm sure you'll get it right someday. Oh, I'm not worried about that. Right now I'm more concerned with Einstein. Come on, if there's the fire escape, we can climb it. Can't you just go into the courthouse to get Einstein? It's close for night. I still had my job as a clerk, sure, but lately a lot of evidence <sighs> has gone missing, so they've installed new locks. Now the place is sealed up tighter than my dad's wallet. All right. Uh, what went what wrong? What went wrong with your rocket car? Also, is that is that our car? Sure. As soon as we no, get that's just the other down, I'm in the back. Go look for it. Or is that our car? Why don't you go look for your car now? And leave Einy stuck on the ledge? <laughs> yes, it is sure. our car. Dogs are much more important than any silly rocket car. Especially one that doesn't work at all. Top right corner. So what are you and Edna arguing about? Oh, the usual. Proper role of science in society, whether a rigidly defined morality has any place in a relativistic <laughs> universe. That sort of Nerd. thing. Nerd. Right. Nerd. Uh, tell me about Parker. Do you know anything about Officer Danny Parker? Any Pop secrets? He's a good cop when he's not drinking. Yeah, we know that. Good. Of course, now I hear he drinks all the time. Bad. Yeah. Uh, tell me about Trixie. You know anything about Trixie Trotter? The songbird of the Sierras? <laughs> the nightingale of the north? The he is in love. of the foothills? Uh... Never heard of her. Man, I've definitely never snuck into Tannen speakeasy to listen to her. Any secrets? Any scoops? Well, I'll go off and oh, okay. you do that. Right, Doc, maybe you can help us. Someone must be able to help us. Okay, so what now? He went under it. Hill Valley Expo. He just October 12th went there through to read the 15th. It. Doc says the expo was the day he officially <sighs> became a scientist. Seems like he's running a couple months ahead of schedule. Okay. Shark, shark, shark. No, this poster is, can be taken anymore. Off. Let's go and ask Doc for help yet again. Because I'm. Um, hey, what's the problem? What's the problem? Uh, you're in the park. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me I'd run into your younger self tonight? Because I don't remember being out here tonight. Clearly, don't, don't your remember something? With my younger self two months ago have slightly altered my personal timeline. I never had the nerve to perform public experiments like he's doing. No matter, those experiments will be forgotten once I've seen Frankenstein. Frankenstein? Yes. Right now, my younger self is fiddling around out there with rocket propulsion systems for his demonstration at the expo. The thing that'll kick off your scientific career. Exactly. Now, the rockets are a horrible idea, and I'll soon realize that they'll never work. Mm -hmm, but eventually, mm -hmm. I'll wander into that movie theater and see Frankenstein. And oh, okay. Yeah, Frankenstein is... I've kept the ticket stub from that movie in my wallet ever since. See? Uh-huh. Why? Because it's during this movie that I'll have the inspiration for my breakthrough at the expo. Which wasn't it, it successful. It doesn't have anything to do with reanimating the dead, does it? Not the way you're thinking, no. <laughs> but during that famous scene when Colin and Clive turned the wheel that raised that shrouded figure into the tower, and that bolt of lightning struck, well, Please. let's just say more than one brain was reanimated that night. Get to the point. 
Arthur, save Einstein. Yes, yeah, save Einstein. Everyone's not having much luck getting Einstein off the courthouse. I'm not surprised. Ein is a smart dog, but heights give him the willies. Well, any what can we hints? Do? Hmm. I've got it. Well, right. just get my younger self distracted, and I'll handle the rest. Well, I'm pretty sure we need to do that anyway. Uh, about get down. Your tannins always such jerks. Anyway. <laughs> Good question. Good question. Uh, it's hard to say. Oh, well, yeah, sorry, I've asked this before. Yeah. Okay. Ignore me. Skip the cutscene. All right. Uh, young Emmett Brown. Uh, <laughs> Stuck. Young Emmett Brown. Sir. Any luck with Einstein? I'm still thinking about it. It's a perplexing spatial conundrum. Aggravated by Einstein's understandable skittishness. Uh, take a break. Why don't you take a break from Einstein Patrol for a minute? Maybe go see a movie or something. Thanks for the offer, Mike. But once Emmett Lathrop Brown sets his mind on a task, nothing can distract him from his purpose. And right now, that purpose is rescuing I'll your dog. I'll handle it. Find a rocket car, then we got Parker, Terry, but seen Frankenstein? Have you seen that Frankenstein movie yet? I hear it's pretty inspirational. Not yet. I've been so busy with my Come rocket on. car that Go I haven't right found now. the time. But I'm planning on going tonight. At least I will once I get Einstein down. I will? You need to see You're Frankenstein. You're really going to see Frankenstein tonight. I'd hate for you to miss it. Just go. Oh, don't worry. Go. Nothing in the world would keep me from go. seeing a movie about a mad scientist with delusions of godhood. <laughs> cool. Well... So you're really going to see Frankenstein tonight? I'd hate for you to miss it. Oh, don't worry. Oh, all right, all right, all right, all right. <sighs> Take a break, final locker. We already asked this. Leave Einie. Yes, Einie, Einie, Einie. Parker, Pixie, Trixie. Well, I'll go off and see if I can get. Some all right. I need really help for this guy. Artie's pipe, on him. There's only a few people, and maybe an animal or two, <laughs> who'd be interested in Grandpa's smelly old pipe, but this. All right, so no, not one of them. The pistol, like I will threaten him. Hey, Emmett, need a light? Turn that thing off. I've been distilling tannins hooch into rocket fuel all afternoon. One stray match could light uh -huh. me up like a Roman candle. Interesting. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's important. Uh, chloroform. Hey, does this smell like chloroform? The thing I want to break this bottle on is one of those goons' heads. <laughs> all right, what is our goal right now? Get Trixie and Arda together. For that, we need to. Do we really need these people? Wait, yeah, I still haven't found Arthur. All right, maybe a bit more dialogue with the lady by the name of Edna. Edna, what? Broken story. Got story for you. Nice song. Uh, oh, actually, yeah, a lot of questions we can actually ask her. What was that song you were singing earlier? Do you like it? I wrote it myself. It really gets the toes tapping at the Stay Sober Society meetings. Although I suppose that could be the shakes. <laughs> Would you like to hear it again? Uh, yes, please. Uh, sure. I knew if I waited long enough, somebody would request it. All right. You say you've lost your self-respect, but you should care. It's not too late to redirect and start to care. Don't despise the good and pure. Time to rise up from the sewer. Wash off all that foul manure. Show the world you care. You should care. You should care. What people think <laughs> of you. A goal that you could name. Reclaiming your good name is what you ought to do. <laughs> you should care. <laughs> you should care. If your reputation I, are you is in disrepair, it's not going to hurt you to reclaim your you for you. It, it could be a, a real knee slapper, yeah. but she's terrible. Yeah. Got lyrics Actually, for that? <laughs> really think so? Give me a lyric yeah, sheet, please. It's uh, got a good hook. Got to a good hook to it, one but. One needs a good hook if one is fishing for souls. <laughs> I don't care. You should care. Uh huh. Can I have a copy of yourself? I think I could have a copy of your You Should Care lyrics. I've uh, got a club of my own that could really use some inspiring. Uh -huh. Sure. Let me just get a page out of the hymnal. There you are. Thank Thanks. You. It also looks suspiciously like the the very thing. You know, Trixie Trotter sings a song that sounds a lot like your You Should Care. She does? Yeah, but hers is a little more carefree. That's what you get when you sing for booze hounds and gangsters. All right. Uh, did he, did he, did he, or do you have it? Uh, do I really ask, need to ask her anything? See ya. Doubt it. Fighting. Yes. All right. Let's go. Oh, did he, did he, did he, which direction is the speakeasy? 
here, I think. Yeah, there we go. Uh, Ira, have you ever heard about that lady who sang opera who really couldn't sing opera, like, didn't sing at all? Unfortunately, I don't remember her name. But, like, 30s, maybe 20s? Well, 30s, 40s. There are a couple of uh, remaining recordings of her, plus the plus documentary, I think, on her, on her stuff. Welcome back, sir. Do I need the doggy? Uh, Looks like Parker's still... How will the doggy help? Uh, head in this lurks. Well. Hey, Trixie, look over there. Why? Yes, he, she is Did not spray. Did you see it? No. Okay. Ah, uh, never mind. Here's what I know about opera. <laughs> and that's the end of the sentence. No, nothing all about opera. Well, I don't think you need to know with her, really. Okay, what happens if I... If I do this, uh, you should care. Okay, let's go. Rage, <laughs> really? <laughs> Just says rage on it. You should care. You should care. What people think of you. What peculiar lyrics for a saloon song. All right, that's for Parker. Parker. Kenny. You. Tell me your troubles. About those troubles. I really care what you think of me. If I told you about my troubles, you might think I was there a crybaby. <laughs> Tell me your troubles. About those troubles. I really care what you think of me. If I told you. Oh my God! No, 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 no. You might think I was a crybaby. Okay, yeah. Stop drinking. Did you be drinking so much on duty? Probably not. But this joint. Okay. Oh, Christ. See you later, Danny. Really? I'll that's it. You. That's that's all I can do. Oh my God. Uh, same. Actually, we haven't hey, sp spoke with these people. Uh, What's Parker's dunno. problem? Ah, Danny Parker. Now his problems follow him around like a pack of wolves. Too really? happy? Oh, how can I make yeah. him? Get, how can I make troubles, it worse? Same troubles, psychiatric troubles. You name it. You get him in the right frame of mind, he'll talk your ear off about it. Okay, that's a hint. Yet another one. Thanks for the time. Uh, Next time. Or all right, so can we pick a song from this list that'll actually change something? <laughs> okay. Uh, angry song, sad song, secret song, happy song. Will any of these work? Will the angry song will be too angry? I doubt it. Sad song, he'll lead to sad. Secret song, he doesn't want to tell me his secrets. I don't think so. And again, a happy song will, will be... Will the this happy song be happy enough? You should care. Angry song, sad song, secret song, happy song. I don't know. Let's try an angry song, but... <laughs> rage. <laughs> Why is it called rage? Um... Oh, sorry. Gilling in the name of Gilling in the name of No. Nope. Against machine. No. Nope. <laughs> Alright, now Danny is angry. Officer oh, Parker, sir. Danny. You. Me. Danny troubles. Go about those troubles. Go away. I'm drinking. I'm noticed. Okay, no. See you later, Danny. I'll be here. All right, sad one. Okay, let's do that. Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. Do dum do dum. Oh, just <laughs> stopped in the middle of it. Well, she's got the voice. It's hard, it's hard to hear it, but she's got the voice. Oh, look at him. Oh, look at him again. <laughs> Parker, sir. Danny. You. Tell me about your about freaking troubles. troubles. It all started on uh, June 14th. Thank you. Thank you. Cool Thank you. Voice. When this uh, 
This car is straight out of Buck Rogers. Popped up out of nowhere and ran my car off the road. No. Then later, I, I lost track of a witness. The poor schlub hasn't been heard from since. That wasn't your fault. And then, to top it off, I somehow managed to lose custody of an 80-year-old arsonist. <laughs> when not one, but two of those godforsaken space cars showed up and whisked him away. It's unbelievable. Jeez. That's what the chief said. Demoted me on the spot. My family sent me to a psych psychiatrist because they thought I was seeing things. And worst of all, my gal Betty oh, left me. No. Because she thinks I'm a bad provider. No wonder if he case. drinks. <laughs> Betty? As in Jennifer's grandma, Betty? <laughs> what? Listen, Kid, Danny, you're really, really spoiling your timelines. You get back together with Betty. Oh, that ship sailed. What the heck with her? I got a little secret that'll set me up with women twice as classy as Betty will ever be. A secret? About that secret? Oh, don't tell me. A secret? What is it? I don't think I should tell you. Oh my god, don't, don't, yes. don't tell me. I like you. You're my new best friend. Well, that's nice, but about that secret? So about that secret. I don't think I should tell you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do we really just need to switch the song yeah, constantly? I'll be here. Yes, I think we need to switch the song constantly. Oh my god. All right, let's do that. <laughs> My melancholy baby. Secret song. <laughs> That's too obvious, really. <laughs> what was the lyrics to that again? Whispering my ear, so soft and sincere. So I could barely hear. <laughs> oh, close enough. <laughs> Blah 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 Ah Christ It's not ending I don't need to watch the cutscene really Officer Parker How about that secret? So about that secret Oh yeah my secret Well you're my pal Well I can tell you Ah power of suggestion I've been working for Tannen Month now. The what now? It's true. All I gotta do is look the other way while evidence is getting destroyed. Daddy, truck full you're of a terrible police. Coming across the county line, and Tan makes sure an extra bunch of bills makes their way into my pay envelope. Well, you're getting money, but you're not getting the girls. Uh, what was the question he asked? Is that a good, good, good thing? Great deal? No, it's not. It's really not. Oops, sorry. No, not a great deal. What's the problem? People need to drink, right? As long as no one's getting hurt, why shouldn't Daniel J. Parker make a few bucks on the action? Because it's your duty. For example, people are getting hurt. Kids a killer. Exactly. Ah, that's just rumors and circumnavigational evidence. Circumnavigational Although, evidence? That wall of fame is pretty spooky. Exactly. Uh. Oh God. I've made a horrible mistake. You have. I thought if I could get my hands on some money, that Betty'd take me back. But when she finds out what I've done, she'll never even talk to me again. <laughs> what have I done? Nothing that we can't <laughs> fix. Uh, come on, put yourself together. Come on, Danny, pull yourself together. It's not so bad. Not so bad? I'm a corrupt cop who's lost his only chance at Ooh, true love. Come on. How's that not so bad? <laughs> uh, stop drinking. You know, drinking that much is really bad for your health. What are you, my mother? Uh, no. More like future grandson-in-law. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> All right. Get Tannen? I guess now I know why you won't arrest Tannen. You're working for him. Bingo! <laughs> Don't Trust shout me. like that, Things please. Get better. Just keep... Listening to the music. Hints, hints. Why? He even looked at the camera. <laughs> okay, you're sad now, right? Hang in there, oh, uh, Have we actually played a sad song? What is the sad song, actually? This is a secret song. Mm. Right, sad song. Which is. Ah, My Melancholy Baby. I see. <laughs> my Melancholy Baby. And I said, maybe. 
you're gonna be the one that saves me. And after all, you're my wonder wall. Come on, baby. Go. Go. <laughs> I've got melancholy because I can't skip these cutscenes. Danny, you. Come on. Trust me, things will get better. Just keep listening to the music. Why? None of the words help anymore. <laughs> okay, so that's not it? Wait a minute, I thought Thing that was day. it. Oh god. Uh, talk to him again? Danny. You. No, no, come on, pull yourself together. Trust me, Rage. things will get better. Just keep listening to the music. Or happy? Oh, or, sir, maybe the happy song, right? Hang in there, Danny. Oh. So... <laughs> cool guy's actually trying to give us hints, but... So either either I'm assuming I'm assuming right all right let's let's get an angry song, get angry. Come on. Lights out, gorilla radio. Turn that shit up. Nope. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Things will get better. Just keep listening to the music. Why? None of the words. Okay, so either either we're picking the wrong songs, or the songs no longer help. Not rage. So okay, but let's get back to this one. You should care. No, angry song. No, sad song. We just used it. Uh, secret, or rather, we tried it. Happy song? There we go. Ain't we got fun? Haven't even heard it. Da 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 da. Every morning, every evening, ain't we got fun? Boom, boom, boom. Can you hear the songs? Da dum, 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 dum. Ah, look at him. He's happy. Oh, he's tapping his feet. There we go. Bingo. Progress. Please tell me it's progress. Come on. Trust me. Things will get better. Just keep listening to the music. Why? None of the words help anymore. <laughs> okay. Now I'm officially lost. So none of these songs are working. Do I need to play the You Should Care? It's a really short song, really. <laughs> Alright, we've tried the happy song, we've tried the secret song, we've tried the sad song, the angry song. You should care. I guess. Again? No. Right. I can turn my Christ, life around. the last one. Sure you can. <laughs> you know what? I used to be a good cop, but yeah, I've had a few Thankfully. bad breaks. Possibly God. even a psychotic one that caused me to imagine a disappearing space car. But I'm a good man. <laughs> yeah. And all I need to do to win Betty back is be the same good man I always was. That's and let the chips it. fall where they may. All right. So, now what? Arrest Anna. Now I wait. Wait for the moment to oh, take wait down for Kid Tan. Okay. Restore my good name and win back the heart of Betty Lipinski. Hold that thought. I bet that moment is just around the corner. Okay, Danny is out. Hey, Danny. Hey, you know, uh, I don't think I ever caught your name. Harry. I never threw it, and now I'm not sure I should, what with you being an upstanding member of the police force again. Fair enough. <laughs> I think I owe you a little anonymity. <laughs> just don't step out of line on my watch, you hear? Okay. Loud and clear, Officer Parker. Uh, get Tannen? Still ready to arrest Tannen? Ready and willing. Cool. All right. Hang tight. I'll see what I can come up with. <laughs> really, it's, it's it's the whole uh, adventure you thing. Soon, Danny. You Take prepare care, a character, Danny. you complete the character's quest line, and then he's just standing then ready, <laughs> ready to do something. Hey, uh, no, sir, you're not Officer Parker. You're a kid. Oh, uh... huh? really? The kid is sitting right there. Apparently, we can't talk to him. All right, uh, Miss Trixie. Uh, Trixie? Yeah. Turn on Tannen. You can trust me. Come on. What's the dirt you got no, on kid? No, not like this. Nix on that. I ain't spilled. I saw Arthur. I happen to see Arthur McFly tonight. Uh huh. Uh huh. Where's he staying? I see no I freaking idea. To find out. Where is he staying? You see him again. Tell him I'm looking for him, okay? I could really use his advice in regards to my, you know what. 
I don't know what. Okay. Break a leg. Yeah, break a leg or two. Uh, I don't think this does anything if we talk to those people. Maybe it does, but then I'll have to. All right, matches. Hey, take a hike, squirt. Well, uh, hate you also. I don't know. <laughs> Insurance. Thank you. Thank you. That's as good a send as I need. We need to. Really, where do we get an insurance policy in the middle of the night? <laughs> insurance, insurance, insurance. Who sells insurance? Uh, Lamont's armies. No, 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 no. O'Malley Sons. Ah, sorry. You know what? Christ. <laughs> I thought I needed to buy insurance. I need Doggy now. Right, because I've got the pipe. The pipe was my dad's pipe, right? Oh my god, yeah. That that was my dad's pipe, so I need the doggy to look for the dad or the grandpa. Keep confusing them too. Also theater, I somehow Arthur be in there? I'm pretty sure I've checked. Yeah, Asked check previously. No. How do we get good doggy down? I can't even see doggy from this point. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, stop, 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 start, please start going in the right direction. So how do we, all right, console, poke around the console. That'll Don't destroy. touch those, they're very sensitive. Sorry. Okay, so no. Mm, there's the docking window yet again. Law office door. Um, I'm pretty sure I can get there, right? My character stop. Oh, Christ almighty. Einstein, we really need to get you down. Einstein. Oh, where's my character going? <laughs> going across the street carefully, carefully. Uh, stationers, by the way. It's closed for the night. Luckily, Hi. I don't have a burning. Okay, barber shop. Uh, and where's my character? There we go. Distract attempt. I'm trying to. Can I stick something? Uh, aha. Can I light the fire to his invention? Not a nice thing to do, but light light a fire to him. <laughs> Can I ignite him while he, well, he's not looking? Just as a question. Hey, Emmett, need a light? Turn no, not like that. Okay, uh, I, th I think I'm pretty sure I've used the bottle of um, empty bottle of chloroform, really. So I can't really just go to him and say. The only thing I want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Do 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 do. All right. Uh, how about we smack? Well, I doubt it's a pipe, but just in case. Don't think. Yes, it won't go there. What about the pistol? Can we burn this whole thing? Not down? sure what that'll do. I'm just trying. And what about the chloroform? The only thing. I'll yeah, 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 yeah. Goons, goons, and focused on Einstein. I'm it trying to distract really the freaking thing. All right, Edna. Edna. Uh, about you and dogs. What you got against dogs well, let's anyway. explore some dialogue They're options. They're smelly, rude, completely unable to take care of themselves, and frankly, they're not very bright. It's not Einstein, come on. If I had my druthers, dogs would be banned from public places. But you don't have your harsh. druthers. It's a harsh world, Mr. Callahan. Uh, about the speakeasy arsonist. Whatever happened arsonist. with that speakeasy arsonist? What is he, by the way? We still don't know. You the same question. It's not the dog. Me. Don't play coy with me. I may not have any journalistically acceptable proof, but I know you had a hand in Carl Sagan's daring escape from the authorities. Okay, uh, did uh, Sagan's innocent? Did you think that Sagan was innocent? I used to, but after he escaped, two more speakeasies were torched in Colfax and Georgetown. That's just a coincidence. Coincidence? Or is our friend Carl a serial arsonist? Coincidence. I'm pretty sure that Carl Sagan didn't start those fires. We'll see. One of the he reasons I'm camped out so fire. close to Tannen's new speakeasy it is it gives burning. me the chance to catch the arsonist in the act. It'll make a great story for my column. Mm hmm. Interesting. Uh, did he tell me about Trixie? You wouldn't happen to know anything uh, about Parker's Trixie reform, Trotter, by the way. would you? Kid Tannen's latest conquest? Well, she claims to be a lounge singer from Seattle, but my sources in Washington have never heard of her. I mean, honestly, Trixie Trotter, what kind of name is that? It's a stage name. I've got a story for you. Hey. Oh, what? Uh, Officer Parker Officer is Parker reformed. Reformed. He has? Really? Yes, he has. Uh-huh. 
I'll need to get a statement. Where can I find him? Uh, in the speakeasy. <laughs> <laughs> Christ, yeah. That's a problem. Right, dogs. It should have to tell me about Trixie Perfect's room. Tell me about Tannen. What's kid Tannen been up to for the last two months? Didn't you hear? It was in all the papers. I've been uh, traveling. Well, the feds were all set to arrest Tannen I've on talked to Emma a couple of times, charges. Yeah. Seems they'd gotten Tannen's books from his accountant. Mm -hmm. I heard something about that, yeah. Well, the accountant disappeared, unsurprisingly. But the feds still thought they had a case. After all, they still had the books, right? Right. Wrong. The day before the trial, the books up and vanished right out of the court's evidence Magic. locker. No. No. Lots of fingers were pointed, but honestly, the whole town's so corrupt that it could have been anyone. Court clerks, cops, janitors. Okay, about... What's up? Kid beat to rap? So kids walking around free? Well, yeah. Free, clear, and laughing it up in his new speakeasy. The feds want to bring a case up against him, but without those books, they've got nothing. Are they in the safe? I've got the combination to the safe. I think it was 72330. All right, maybe I haven't explored a couple of options here, but uh, let's go back to Amit. I'm oh, sorry, the Amit on the other side of this. It, mm. Right, maybe maybe something changed, but really, I've tried to talk, try and talk to Amit, and nothing. Amit basically says to me. I'm still thinking. No, goodness. he's thinking. Well, Wait, I'll go Christ, I, Christ. I, get some help. I clicked too many you times. Yes, 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 too many times. Any luck with Hello? You? I'm still thinking. Hello? Hello. Take a break. Why don't you take a break from Einstein Patrol for a minute? He says Maybe that he sets his mind on it. Thanks for the offer, Mike. But one yeah, lapse. exactly. Find a rocket car. Why don't you go look for your... He you says that. He don't want to leave the Aini there. Uh, Frankenstein already told him about a Trixie. He knows a Parker. Do you know anything about Officer Danny Parker? My pop says he's a good cop. Good cop. Good. Yeah. Of course, now I hear he drinks all the time. No longer, actually. Uh. So yeah, what's with the Edna? So what are you and Edna arguing about? I don't oh, think I've asked usual. him about that. Proper role of science and Oh, sorry, no, I, I, have, I have. Right. So yeah, I've talked to him. Well, I'll go off and you do. So. Or do do I need to talk to Emmett Senior, as in the the old one? Edna. What? Okay, a broken story da, 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 about we haven't talked to. Couldn't kid be brought up on other charges like say running a speakeasy? In a perfect world, yes, but no one in town seems to care <sighs> about prohibition anymore. The feds are only interested because of the lost tax revenue. <laughs> yes, they are. Uh, what's with you and Emmett? What's going on with you and Emmett? The last time I saw you, you seemed to be kind of interested in him. That was before I belatedly realized that his agreement to host my Stay Sober Society was a clever ruse to ferry barrels of hooch to his so-called laboratory. Sorry about that. <laughs> now his very presence fills me with an irrepressible urge to pick at his philosophical and intellectual foundations with every tool in my vocabulary. They're a perfect so match for each other. Dating. <laughs> <laughs> the mere thought of romantic involvement with an undisciplined technical. Oh, don't tell me they will date obstacles. later on. Good. And will be the best man after winning. <sighs> Alright, I'm out of ideas. See ya. Keep fighting. Again, I can I can talk to the Emmett, the senior, but I'm officially out of ideas. Hey, right, let's go inside and ask ask the old guy about all the things we've already seen. Any what? any hints, Doc? Please, have you seen our Parker's fixed? Good news, Doc. Parker's ready to arrest Tannen, and it looks like I didn't go stag to the prom. Wonderful. What about Miss Trotter? I'm still working on her. Uh, Frankenstein. I talked to your younger self about Frankenstein. He's really looking forward there to we go. it. That's good. Oh, I was never worried about that. I wouldn't miss that movie for the world. Well, he's this whole ticket isn't about to disappear. I sort of envy me seeing it for the first time. Mmm. and yeah, everything else. Save Einstein. It's not having much luck getting Einstein off the courthouse. I'm not surprised. Okay. What can we do? Mm. Just get my younger, get my younger self distracted. Yeah, same thing. So she loves to cover stories. Well, do I need okay. to give her more stories? Well, yeah, actually, I haven't been giving her any stories. All right, let's go back then. If I can actually find her. Ah, oh, Jesus, this running is killing me. There we go, there she is. 
Miss Edna. Edna, what? Broken any stories? Broken any oh, sorry. Uh, no, 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 no. I've got a story for you. Oh. Tens arrested. New angle on Ammon Brown's story. Trixie betrays Kit. After my flyer returns, Carl Sagan spot in town. Hey. There's a new angle on the Emmett Brown story. What is it? It's even worse than you thought. Oh, oh Lord. What is it? Mr. Brown. <laughs> what is it now, Mr. Brown? Uh -huh. I, I could ask the same question of you, <laughs> Miss Strickland. This scientific enterprise of yours represents a clear and go. present danger to <laughs> okay. public safety. You know what represents a clear and present danger to public safety? Your singing voice. Uh huh. There's no Ouch. need to get personal, Mr. Ouch. Brown. Believe me, I have no intention of getting personal with you. I'm relieved to hear it. <laughs> Flying cars of all the ridiculous stupid <laughs> <laughs> me, but just imagine a world in which traffic jams and car crashes are a thing of the past. Well, I might be more inclined to listen to you if your maiden voyage hadn't ended in a crash on one roof and a stranded dog on another. I'm working on getting him down. As we Heine, speak. How'd you get down? Clever dog. Well, fortune favors you tonight, but I warn you to be more careful in the future. Now, how to get that rocket car back down? Do I need to distract him yet again? <laughs> Let's try and distract him once again. Edna, what? Uh, got a story for you. Oh, what is? Uh, did he, did he? Carl Sagan spot in town. Can't tell her that. It could get him in trouble. Okay, uh, I've got a story for you. Hey. Oh. Uh, Arthur Flutter turns. Can't tell her that. Oh Christ. Um, I got a hot lead for you. Uh, none of this. Kid Tannen arrested. Oh, glorious day! When did it happen? Uh, well, it hasn't happened yet, but it's gonna. <laughs> Keep me posted. Say okay. 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 Let's let's go back to Emmett and 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 and. All right. Let's see. No. Ah, there we go. Right. Right. I've got the dog now. I'm stupid. I've got to talk. S screw it. I've got to talk. <laughs> hey, boy. Take away for this. <laughs> gotta love there that go. nose. Ah, he is in the movie th theater. Uh -huh. I've been laying low, officer, but <laughs> I've got to go to the pictures once in a while. Hello, Arthur. Officer? I'll take it from here. But, but... We can talk of the Majestic, away from prying eyes. Okay. Yeah, Einstein. Majestic. You done good. Okay, do I get back, back to Trixie? Uh, can, I, can I see see the movie, please? So, Emmett's gonna get his big idea while watching Frankenstein, huh? I guess that explains a lot about Doc. <laughs> All the crazy professor typey thingy. All right, Emmett, are you here? I think you were here last time. Oh, where, where are you, by the way? Where has he gone? He's not in the middle here. Actually, if he's not in the middle, can I touch it? Testing, testing. Oh, there we go. Sibilance, sibilance. Hey, quit playing with my equipment. <laughs> you Sorry. were standing here. Wait, where is he? Wait, is, is he supposed to be here or... Where is he? He's constantly appearing and disappearing. <laughs> Is that a hint that I don't need to interact with him just yet? Oh, 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 oh come on, come on, come back, come back, come back, come back. <laughs> He's the worst runner in the history of running. Thor. <sighs> Welcome back, sir. Okay. What's it gonna take to get Trixie to squeal on Kid? Tell her where Arthur is. Really? Just about that. Uh, Trixie? Yeah? Uh, I found Arthur. I found Arthur. He's staying at the Majestic Arms. That flea bag? He's too classy for that. Yeah, well, anyway. You wanna pop over there right now and talk to him about this evidence you got. I'll See you in a while, cool guy. Break. Get him to come here. I'm not sure he'd find this place inviting then i guess you might say we're stuck at an impasse mm, not really <laughs> you know what you'd sing great this one song by all right yes piano player heard it break a leg out there Thanks. all right my god yes convince parker to do his duty 
The Barker will only do his duty when? Hey, Danny. Hey, you know, I never threw it, and now I'm not sure I should. Oh yes, blah 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 blah. Fair enough. Loud and. Okay, get Tannen. Still ready to arrest Tannen? Ready and willing. Cool. What? Hang tight. I'll see what I can come up with. Okay, so nothing like. See you. Take care. Okay. Uh, let's give you a gun. I don't know. Jeez. That's a Barker. A gun. I'm not pulling that thing out in here again. <laughs> okay. There might be a life and death situation later on. Well, I don't know. Talk to this guy. Hey, what? Uh, what are you doing? Tell me about Trixie. About you. So is your cold all better? My cold? Yeah, when I saw you a few hours ago, you were sneezing like crazy. Mister, I ain't had a cold in over two months. Oh, yeah. Oh, My yeah. bad. Right. Sorry. <laughs> Wrong guy. Talk to you later. All right. Hello. Uh, I don't know. Go back to the hotel. Convince Arthur to come somehow. All this running really making me tired. Well, we got one big part of the puzzle. Okay. So we at least got Arthur, but we need to convince Trixie to betray Kid, and we also need. Policeman Parker, who is better, obviously better, but do his duty. Hey Doc, I could use a little help. What's the problem? Uh is Artie still here? He's in the bathroom. Hey Artie, open up. You've got a gangster to bring down. Is it time for me to meet this Sylvia? No. no. It's time for you to meet Trixie. Trixie says she's got something that might be able to send Kid up the river, there we but go. that you're the only one she trusts to check it out. Me? What is she? Oh, I know what she's done. Clever. He's like a puppet. Care He's like a controlist dummy. Sorry, guys, but if also Trixie's speaks keeping really it a weird. secret, then so am I. That's all well and good, Mr. McFly, but if you and Trixie are going to collaborate on this evidence, we'll need to arrange a rendezvous. Well, Trixie's chained to kids speakeasy. So we'll have to bring Arthur to Trixie. Uh-uh. No way am I getting anywhere near <laughs> that place again. I don't know how you talked me into this. <laughs> He's really easy going. Shadows and don't come out until you see Trixie. You're sure I'll be safe here? Perfectly safe. We'd never make you take any unnecessary... <gasps> Sagan. Where's kid? Problem. Don't worry. Okay, the kid will rush out. Maybe the trash cans finally can come in handy. Ew. Maybe the crates with the cabbages can finally come Cabbage in handy. Crates. Well, come back, cool guy. Uh, you're just in time since we're solving another puzzle. Welcome back, sir. At least I'm welcome back. Uh, What's it gonna take to get Trixie to? Well, uh, this guy's still sitting here, so not in a hurry, apparently. Nope, not here. Dip, dip, dip. Really? I'm clicking there, but I'm talking to Officer Parker. Hey, hey, yeah, whatever, 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 hey. whatever. Mm, Arthur is right outside. Can you come in uh, for a Trixie? second? Yeah. Arthur's waiting outside. Who's waiting in the alley to talk with you? Buddy? President Who? One and only. It wasn't easy to track him down. I had come to. Come for me, cue ball. I'm taking a smoke break. Had a girl. Had a girl. Oh, he suspects something. Hey, you. Huh? Yeah, jerk. I saw Oh, you Christ, it's him again. <laughs> Sorry, pal. I don't have time for a fight. Why, you? <laughs> Yet again. <laughs> <laughs> poor, poor right, cue ball. Fella, I think you're done for the night. Oh, poor, poor cue ball. Hey, where do you think you're going? Me? Yeah, you. What do you know about this? Uh, nothing. I. Ah! That's problematic. Huh? Huh? Trixie? Break silver cue ball. Whatever you say, babe. Don't tell me they shot Arthur. They can't possibly that? shoot Arthur. 
He can't possibly be dead. Uh, Trixie? Yeah? Oh, no, apparently not. <laughs> what happened in the alley with Arthur? I don't want to talk about it. Tell me what happened. What about your insurance policy? There ain't no insurance policy. After tonight, I'm tossing it in the furnace oh my and burning God. it up. Come on, Trixie, can't you tell me what happened out there? No! Then at least give me the evidence you got on Kid. No, I need to deal with myself. As soon as tonight's set is over, <sighs> evidence goes up in smoke. Drama queens. Detroit requests. <laughs> the leg out there. Thanks. Oh my, what the frick happened? Let's go back and try to learn. Alright, so tell me what on earth happened. Okay. Oh no, that's not good. Artie? <laughs> you missed a hell of a party, buddy. Kid, well, what happened? Oh, you're gonna love this. So, I'm hanging out in the club when all of a sudden I get an urge to drain the lizard, right? I come out into the alley, and who do I see? None other than that scrawny, subpoena-answering rat, Artie McFly. And get this! The little worms whisper in a way I'll conquistadorial-like with my Trixie! Oh, no. Naturally, I pull out Kid Jr. and prepare to put a couple Kid bullets Junior. in McFly's head. Which causes Artie's nose to stop bleeding because he's a big wuss. And then... <laughs> and then... <laughs> what? He sold his pants. He literally gets down on the knees and begs me to let him live. <laughs> huh? Seriously, down on the knees, crying and begging for McFly's life. So, uh, what did you do? What could I do? I fired two shots in the air and told <laughs> Artie to take a hike. Huh, that was merciful. Hey, I got plenty of mercy. Besides, now Trixie owes me big time, and Kid Tannen always collects on his debts. Wink, wink. Always. Nudge, nudge. Say no more. All right. Now what? Do we need to make him shoot four more times so his six shooter is empty? Well, find that after the break. We're yet again stuck. <laughs> All right. See you in a while. See you after a while.
we've got a sad song. Sorry, my voice still hasn't recovered. <clears throat> Welcome back. Welcome back. <sighs> Just a second. Tannen was calling uh, Trixie. <coughs> anyway, all right. We need to figure out. We need to figure out how to how to finish the story. It just <laughs> it's too much. It's too hard. All right. Let's go back. Uh, turn off the music. We don't need that. We have plenty of music in game. All right, so I'm assuming, I'm assuming if RT is gone somewhere, huh? If RT is gone somewhere, maybe you people have seen it, seen him, her pamphlets. What's all this? These are my pamphlets, laying out in scientific detail Donate the to horrors the clock visited tower upon those font. who succumb to the temptations of alcohol. Oh, you're in your stick again. Fortnite. I am particularly fond of that one. It tells the true life tale of Johnny, who woke up in a pile of his own sick, completely unable to remember the previous two weeks of his life. Wow, Heavy. that was a Actually, the pamphlets bender. are quite light. See? <laughs> okay, Edna, Edna, have you what? seen? Have you seen? Nice song, uh, Bring It to Justice, uh, Second Sensation, blah, blah, blah. No, nothing. See ya. Keep See ya. Uh, right, let's go back and ask what happened. If the Arthur ran somewhere, he must be... Or at least Doc must know where the hell he is. Hey, Doc, I could use... What's the problem? Artie's gone. Well, for Things example, are this. Worse, Doc. <laughs> In order to keep Artie safe, Trixie's gonna destroy her evidence against Tannen. You have to stop her. I'm trying to. The only thing that would make her turn on Kid now is if she welched on the deal and killed my grandfather. Well, we can't let that happen. Trixie Burnett, I've heard fix. I met plus end. Should we be worried about your younger self and end of Strickland? <laughs> yeah. That is a peculiar wrinkle in the space-time continuum. But I'm sure nothing will come of it. I can't possibly imagine myself becoming attached to a woman like that. Uh, never said never. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, so... I need to get Kid Tannen to kill my grandfather without actually killing my grandfather. Making it look like my grandfather was killed. Where is? Where is the little Emmett? And what's with that car? He supposedly needs to take down. He's not testing, here. He's testing. here. Siblings. Siblings. Hey. What? Why is Sorry. he not here when I come to this place? Where is he? I mean, what, 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 what on earth? All right, you're no use. Uh, Doc's no use for now. Oh, there we go. There he is. Thank God, found him. Emmett. No, 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 time for chit chat. I've got a rocket car to recover. Emmett, you get down from there before you hurt yourself. Oh. Hurt myself? Huh. You're far too She's cautious, caring for him. No. Okay. Once again. Sure, that's safe. Of course, it's not safe. That soup kitchen he's climbing is owned by gangsters. Stop being such chickens. See? Uh, Safe as houses. Don't blame me if you end up dead. What, what does this oh, being owned man, by gangsters so have curious. has to do with, with safety? She is in love. Emmett. She oh, secretly no cares for, for him. I've got a she rocket does. car to recover. All right. Uh, do we have anything in our inventory to help him? Trixie's lyrics. Artie's pipe. <laughs> lighter <laughs> no none of these things i still have this photo of jordan mcfly which we still haven't used hey look that's my sure what that'll do. grandfather actually uh uh just out of curiosity uh not the photo though trixie's lyrics edna take a look at these I'll hold on to these lyrics for posterity no oh, from a crying out loud all right all right let's go back Again, anything in here. 
Items, items, puddle of blood. Yeah, that's apparently his nose blood. I guess that's grandpa's nose blood. <laughs> exactly. Uh, can I, I don't know, smear something in it? Like, lyrics. I think I'll hold on. Nope. Uh, pipe. I doubt it, but okay. Yeah, I could put blood on Artie's pipe and then Trixie would think, ah, nah, that wouldn't fool her. She knows she gave me that pipe. All right. <laughs> I forgot who gave me the pipe, who it belonged to. The lighter? Not sure what that... Yeah, I'm not sure either. Just trying... Oh, thanks. Bottle of chloroform on this. The only thing I want to break the... Yes, 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 yes. Then why are you still carrying it, really? What, what, what's the reason for that? I don't know. Photo of Jordan fly. Not sure what that'll do. I don't know. Let's go back. Trash cans. Cutscenes. Oh, you were just standing right behind me. Up, oh, and you Boss, went through me. Do you mind? I'm trying to have a good time here. I think you'll want to see this. Uh -huh. Are you crazy? Bringing a stick of dynamite into my club? That's just it, boss. It's all over the place. I think our speakeasy arsonist is getting ready to strike again. Huh. Interesting. Oh, it, it works like that. <laughs> okay, now I'll know. What's it gonna take to get Trixie to squeal on Kid? Mm, right. Uh, hey, no. what? Zane is the only person who we I'll haven't have really drink. talked to. What's your poison? Pepsi. Uh, <laughs> Pepsi. <laughs> second thought. Forget it. Don't Suit yourself. Uh, but these caricatures. So about this uh, portrait gallery of yours. What about it? What's it all about? Who are those guys? Tell me more. <clears throat> the caricatures hanging along the wall of honor commemorate those who are no longer with us. What does he have to put in a voice? Hit off one Irving Kid Tannen. They're the guys the kids killed? Well, of course not. Hmm. They're just a bunch of guys that Kid didn't particularly like, and that at a later date turned up dead. It's a, a what do you call it? A, a circumstantial coincidence. Yeah. Okay, what are you what drawing? You drawing? Another celebrity caricature. You drew those? Prohibition ain't gonna last forever, Bob. I gotta have a skill I can fall back on when all this goes away. Well, dressing is quite one of them. Apparently those uh, sunglasses or just glasses. That tie, that suit, I say. Draw me. Think you could do a caricature of me? Sure. So quickly? Really? Presto! Wow! That really doesn't look like me. <laughs> I didn't have much to work with. <laughs> Ouch. What happened in the alley? Do you know what happened to Trixie out there? She seems pretty freaked out. We sort of know. You talk weird, you know that? But no, I don't know nothing about Trixie's emotional state. <laughs> Kid doesn't pay me nearly enough to pour drinks and babysit his crazy girlfriends. Uh, about you. Uh, is that about the cult? What's it like working for Tanner? Ah, just, you looking just for random. a job? No. And stop being so nosy. Uh, could have said yes. Talk to you later. <sighs> hey, look, a paying customer. <laughs> well, yeah. Oh, I like this. I like this one. Do I really look like that? Uh, not with the long hair and your hair is darker, but yeah, for the most of it, I'd say yes. So, knowing that he likes to draw the pictures. And that's a wall of the people that kid has disposed of and we have this freaking photo for ages now can he draw my father who looks like my grandfather sure hey yeah. that looks like that Artie mcfly think hmm, i never noticed that before hey uh can you give him a hat like Artie wears voila Nice Hello. job. Just now, like don't him. tell them chumps at the New Yorker. <laughs> oh yeah, sure. Just as, as I go to New York. Jesus. All right. So, um, can I show that portrait to uh, Trixie? Hey, Trixie, you just you didn't see this happen. I don't think anyone will be interested in this caricature until it's hanging on the wall of Kids Club. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. I thought of giving it to her, but come on, come on, come on, get, get to the freaking thing. Get to the freaking thing. There we go. Slowly, slowly. So let's put... What happens if I put on my picture? Obviously, that's a lie. 
Sorry about this, Dad. Up. Oh, no one notices me doing this. <laughs> also, Dad. That's grandfather drawn by using the picture of my dad. But all right. Uh, Trixie. Uh, Trixie. Yeah. Look what happened to Artie. I talked to Kid. Oh. He told me about Artie. Oh. It was awesome of you to plead for his life. But. It was uh, awesome of Kid to spare it. So you see why I gotta get rid of all the dirt I got on Kid. As long as he's loyal to me, I gotta stay loyal to him. But... I don't know how to tell you this, but I think you should check out the Wall of Fame. Why? What is it? <gasps> Look who's the I... hell on the left. I don't believe it. We had a deal. Adi was supposed to be safe. I don't know what to say. Well, I do. Felony tax evasion. What? Before he died, Adi was teaching me about all sorts of stuff. Literature, history, accounting. accounting. <laughs> and I made a big discovery while I was copying all of kids' books. We're accounting. This establishment ain't entirely on the up and up. <gasps> Don't really? you say. Oh, I knew about all the gangster stuff. That kind of thing you expect from tough guys but... like Kid. But when I found out he ain't been paying taxes <gasps> on his speakeasy profits. Oh well, no. Cheating Uncle he Sam hasn't is been one paying step his over the taxes. line. Once I turn this over to the police, <laughs> they'll throw the book at no him. No way. This book. Hey, copper. Really? Just out in the out in the in the open? <laughs> Basically screaming about the whole thing. And then communicating it in mime, apparently. <laughs> and again, his faces. Oh my lord. What happened to my louse of an ex boyfriend? He went through the know. secret passage. Yes. I told the chief we need a team of bloodhounds like they got over in Placerville. Yeah, but in the meantime. I saw. All right, everyone. Party's over. Everyone out of the speakeasy. They have speakeasy. guns. They have guns. <laughs> You're mistaken, officer. This is an ice cream parlor. <laughs> nice try, you. Out! They had guns. Why don't they just shoot him? And this guy just stays there. <laughs> what was that expression? Wow, what? 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 Psst. Would the Valenti mob be willing to help... Uh defuse this little situation uh yes sure no problem i'll bring it up in the next <laughs> company he's not a gangster hey, we ain't begging here kid just thought jj might like a piece of the action especially now that he's just caught the speakeasy arsonist huh wait you mean doc doc you ain't with the valenti gang at all are you what do you know about the arsonist uh, Come on, you. Off to the station house. Kid's gonna get you, rat. He's gonna get all of you. Problematic. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so what now? We got this place well, to our... that's that. Thanks to Miss Trotter's evidence, the entire Hill Valley police force is out looking for Kid and his goons. You don't understand. We've got to find him now. He's captured a friend of mine. Who? Uh, <laughs> judge's time traveling son, escaped prisoner. Uh, never mind. No, okay. Don't worry. We've got the entire <laughs> town square sealed off. If Tannen's within a mile of here, we'll find him eventually. And what if he's not within a mile? What he? I don't what if he's within two eventually. miles? All right. Uh, where's Kid Tannen? All right. Uh, barrels. Parker must have confiscated this hooch from the speakeasy. Hooch. Trash cans. There got to be something Hell. useful somewhere. Wait, flask? Irving Kid Tannen. <laughs> he dropped this on his way out. D dropped it. It's empty. Figures. Why did you even try to drink it? First of all, dropped it. It stood right there by the crates. He didn't drop it here. Second of all, why did you try to drink it? Well, I can uh, imagine only one thing. If we need to find a person, well, the dog is specifically here for that purpose. Hey, Aini, get your nose over here. That magical dog. All right. That magical dog. I really don't think Tan and the dock are with Herbert Hoover, I need. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll check it out. There's like a convenient 
slit down the middle. Oh, a button? A button? <laughs> really? <laughs> that obvious. All right, Doc. Here I that go. That obvious. <gasps> Callahan. Wait, 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 wait. Where do you have Irma? Uh, Irma. 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 Never mind. Come here and help me get rid of this stinking arsonist. Edna? I caught her planting dynamite while he was clearing out the soup kitchen. Oh, ha. Huh. Sagan was innocent after all. I was researching a story, you ignoramus. Tell it to St. Peter's sister. Hey, what's all this? Parker? Tannen, you're under arrest. Get him, Sacramento boy. I can't do that, kid. What? Oh, I get it. Why don't you let go of Miss Strickland and call it a night? Really? Hey, look over there! Oh my god, Danny, you're an idiot. Watch out! You're a absolute sack of... of God knows what. How Give it up, dumb the can you possibly and be? <laughs> it's over! Over? Nothing is over until Kid Tannen says it's over! Also, he's a terrible sh shot. <laughs> Defeat Kit Tannen. All right, so what do we have? Inventory. We have a flask. <laughs> we have a pipe. <laughs> we have lyrics. We have a golden gun that isn't really a gun. We have chloroform. Throw break it at it him. Easier. The only thing I want to break this bottle on is one of those goons' heads. Break it on his head. All right. Um. Gap. Gap. Obviously, he's shooting at it. He's not about to let me in. But he doesn't have a s endless amount. Of a bullet. He's not about to let me in. Oh, Christ. Really? We'll, we'll hear a lord at some point. Okay. Uh, barrels. That's your hooch. No. He's not about yeah, yeah, I heard that. Heard that before. Uh, what's to the side of here? Or, sorry, light it on the fire, maybe? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, put it in flask. No one messes with Kid Tannen. Yeah, yep, yep. No, not like this. But fires, really. Maybe I can set a fire to those? Lighter. Add him. I don't think he wants to smoke right now. He doesn't want to smoke. Alright, yes, 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 yes. Come on, come on. That's at maximum 50 bullets. Come on, kid. You know how this will end. Uh I'm pretty sure yeah, with me dancing on your grave. Uh not exactly. He's not Yes, he is not about to let me in. Heard that before. Reload, come on. Alright. Huh? <laughs> okay, wh why did it took, took her one attempt for me going back and forth? <laughs> why? Alright, can I get inside now? Wait, can I go here and then inside? I can sort of get there, can't I? Lord. Is there a way to get there? Can I push one of these barrels? Gap? No. He's not about to let me in. I'll, I'll try to... I'll try to minimize the amount of fire. I'm trying to make him get rid of all the bullets. Okay. Make uh, it easy on yourself, Tannen. Officer Parker. What should I do? You have a gun? Not, uh, a, real not a real one. It's me. That's it. <laughs> it's okay, Ara. Uh, just keep watching. You'll know what when the kid Tannen will be defeated. Tannen, let's hey, talk. Kid, let phony. <laughs> All right. Hey, moron. Moron, this. Okay. The more we talk to him, the faster the lady gets out of here. I'm Yo, assuming. Tannen, yep. Make like a tree and die, rat. While he oh. shoots. Oh no. Hey. Had a girl. No but, one messes with Kid Tan. Hey, Kid, let phony. Okay, will she squiggle? No, okay, trash cans. Barrels. Sneak, 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 sneak. Edna. So, I'm afraid I'm finding it difficult to concentrate with all the bullets <laughs> flying around my head, Mr. Callahan. You don't say. Right. Uh. So, I'm a. Yes, yes, yes. All right, well, well, well now what? I don't know. Put a caricature up the. Show it to him. I don't think they'd be in. Alright. What? What now? Pipe. Throw a pipe at his head. I don't know. You... There's only a few people. No, no, no. Like yes, I did, I did, blah, blah, blah. Again. Put a light to these things. Come on. Anything. Just. Not not to Edna, though. I don't smoke. 
Okay, wanna wanna flask? I don't think they. Yes, wanna my character, my pipe? No, I doubt it. Empty chloroform bottle, maybe. The only thing I want to. He's not about. To I know that. Oh my God, get down! Oh, Tannen, make like a tree and die, rat! Aha! Uh Aha! -huh. Uh -huh. Make it easy on yourself. Okay. Well, something happened. Something happened. Uh, Tannen, light it. I would just blow up in my face. Oh, uh, can I? Ah, right. I need to make it slow burning. I think I'll hold on to these lyrics for posterity. No, not like that. Ha, huh, I thought. Mm, photo of my dad. Not sure what that. All right, go back to the trash cans. Maybe. Maybe yell at him. Okay. Hey, moron! Moron, this! No, apparently not. All right, let's go back. At least he knocked uh, no one way, barrel. Is... Hey, kid! Lead, phony! Okay, a hey, couple moron. more times. More on this. Hey, moron! More on this. Uh, shouting at him in the same place doesn't do much. Oh, there, oh there, there we go. I can pick it up. Really, just just take it into my inventory. Uh, examine item. Man, scooch is leaking all over the place. I better be careful with this stuff. The doc can turn it into rocket fuel. Who knows what'll happen if it gets into that dynamite? Okay. Come on, kid. You know how this Wait a minute. All right, still a barrel ten. into the gap. Bowling for 10. Aha, uh -huh, just like that. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Now we light it. Good trail. Hey kid. Ha, that ain't a real gun. Oh, right. I forgot. I better just get rid of it then. <laughs> just dropped it. Oh crap. Oh crap indeed. Really, there's like an exit right there, and he just ran away. Where is the policeman, Danny Parker? Danny Parker, you're an absolute useless piece of police officer I've ever seen. Yes. No, there, good as new. Oh, look, Tannen, the judge's son. Oh, please don't tell me he'll be taken All hostage. Right, oh, he will. I want a getaway car and a clear road to Nevada, or the brown kid gets it. Doc. <laughs> Doc? Yes, it's me. I'm talking to you through the radio apparatus. My younger self has installed the rocket car. Okay. What's going on up there? Well, we have Not a problem. Good, we have a situation, Doc. Parker did their part, but now Kid's holding you hostage. Right, Scott. No kidding. <laughs> Try to get Kid in the car. Once he's inside, give me a signal, and I'll do the rest. How am I? You! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, no gun. No gun. Damn it. Oh, no. You're the cause of all of this. Wait, wait, wait. He just dropped. All right. Should have known. You don't look like any Callahan I ever seen. Uh, yeah, well, what kind of gangster's named? Harness. Nope. Not like that. There's left. Harness. Nope. Uh, there's right. Harness. There's left. There's left. I'm just running circles. <laughs> No one makes a fool out of me. Uh, that's left, that's right, that's right. No, we can wait, wait again, exchange places. No. Again, that's right. <laughs> exchange places. Uh, hardest? Come on. Do I need to do this at the right spot? Got right right time? Words, rat? None that you there we go. Hey! Thought so. Doc, hit it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, get in! Blind car! Manure, really? Right. Into the freaking manure truck. <laughs> apparently so. I'm placing you under arrest for kidnapping, attempted murder, tax <laughs> He's quite clean for someone who has just been in a manure pile. Smelling like a piece of crap. Ooh, nice tax one, lighter. <laughs> Haven't you heard? The feds are practically drooling over Trixie's books. Yeah. Trixie? Bam! That's what you get for killing Artie, you bastard! What? I didn't... Trixie? Artie? Artie? Uh, it, but it's, it's not my grandmother. 
All right, Grandpa. <laughs> My poor car. Get some of that action, Grandpa. I owe you an apology, oh, Mr. Brown. and these two will meet. Thanks to there your ridiculous <laughs> contraption, Hill Valley's most notorious criminal is finally headed to prison. No apologies necessary, Miss Strickland. My rocket car may have accidentally saved the day, but only because it's a completely out of control failure. I need a new idea. If you're willing to listen, I might have a few suggestions. She said, first, suggestively. I think we should take in a movie. I'm all yours, Mr. Brown. Well, I have I to say, things are moving quite quickly. Scientist with an overabundance of hubris. Whew. Come on, Einie. Let's go find Doc. Still, Artie and uh, Trixie? Or maybe, uh, right, Trixie Trotter as a pseudonym, so her name might as well be Sylvia. Let me fly the DeLorean, Doc. <laughs> this thing's a blast. I'm absolutely sure that everything's back to normal. <sighs> totally. Kids going to jail, Emmett's going to see Frankenstein, and there's no such thing as a tanning crime family in 1986. <laughs> and we remembered Einstein this time, too. <laughs> Hill Valley crime rate at all time low. Hmm. Okay. Well, except for Grandpa necking with Trixie. I think we're ready to go back to 1986. Do you feel yourself fading out of existence? No. But as long as your father's still born in seven years, I say, let your grandfather sow his oats. Sowing oats? Is that what's going on with you and Edna? <laughs> what are you talking about? Har, har, har. They're going to go see Frankenstein together. And then... That's odd. <gasps> uh oh no 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 that's a problem that's a problem oh my god can we can we please do something right <gasps> that's a problem god what the car is also disappearing wait when did she leave huh ah <gasps> they don't see the movie they're gonna go to the park and start kissing or just to his place well, find out next time on Back to the Future of the Game. <laughs> Forgot the name for a second. Hail Valley. Uh, having some issues, having some issues, having some real bad issues. And of course, Crash. <laughs> and where's Where Doc? Where Doc? Uh -huh. yeah. Huh? <laughs> what is it? Is that like his town? <laughs> well, to be continued. <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> and Iram, yes, this whole thing is unrealistic. You told so, said so previously. Now you're saying so yourself one more time. All right, in the next episode, Martin let's McFly, see. Age 18. Okay, Doc, let's see what kind of nightmare alternate timeline I've landed in this time. Father George, Mother Lorraine. Hill Valley under Citizen Brown. It's not quite the contented town you were led to believe Citizen it was. Citizen Brown. A re-education <laughs> program? What the hell? Please don't swear, Martin. It makes me... Uncomfortable. <laughs> Zero demerits. Not till this morning. We're through, McFly. I'll never date such a square again. My own girlfriend thinks I'm a square? The obvious question, Mr. McFly, is what happened to you? Jesus Christ, Doc, what happened to you? Communism? Sort of, sort of. Or just the anti-utopia, dystopia, if you will. I got just busting my sweet moves. I can't do anything but this. <laughs> should I, should I do this? <laughs> oh my God! More pets. Uh. Sorry, yes, I'm losing my voice. <laughs> Sorry, just got a glimpse of me uh, on the stream. All right, well, 
Da 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 da. Load game. Is there an option to transfer the game here? Speak easy, Ali Knight. Load game. No, I doubt it. Video. Continue load game. New game. Help settings. No. Our option is to quit this. Uh, or not to quit this. Anyway, let's stop the timer. Added yet another couple of these on. Ah, I still have three episodes to play. What was the what was the Irish dance? <laughs> right, let's put some music in the background. You know what? I'm saving this whole album. Screw it. I'm saving all this album to my uh, to my playlist. <laughs> I love it. J just the right amount of ambient bit. Well, as I said, post rock a lot. There might be some post rock influences in there as well. But it's nice. It's quite nice. All right. Well, I'll keep listening to it. What was the, was the, was the glass house with the butterfly? I think is the name of the track I really like during the game. Just like oh, there it is, like beautiful song. I think that's it. It's not the Mr. Hand the Goat, not the Game Boy Tune, not the Furnace, not the Black Cat Brotherhood team, not the Prison, not the Castle, not the Elevator. Some assuming it's the Glass Hat with the Butterfly. And even this song is quite great. Anyway, anywho, anyhow, I will be seeing you tomorrow. Again. The, all these screwed up timelines still needs to be fixed. So I better get going. I better get going. As the game shuts down in the background. Why are you making a sound while you do so? Does everything... <laughs> does everything need to make a sound? Mm. Right. Anywho. As soon as the song has ended, and that's in 30 seconds, I'll be waving you goodbye. And seeing you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Yet again. We've done some progress. So yay us. And see ya. Cool guy. See ya Ira. See ya Delvi. Glad you could also make it. And actually. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's see if we can drop a host on someone. Is anyone interesting online? Souls. Souls Virgin. <laughs> I guess not. I'm assuming that person is playing Dark Souls. 15 viewers. And also the song has ended. Eh, yeah, maybe not. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's me streaming. To Fatal Frame Killer Ghosts. Okay, well, let's see what that that is. Th this person is playing something, so let's host this person. All right, see you tomorrow. Let's see what Kentish Zombie is on about. Oh, no, the host someone. There we go. All right, see you tomorrow.